Hello fellow survivors and welcome to some gameplay footage from Blackrock on the main interloper run past day 1000. So on my main interloper run which recently crossed day 1000 I had never actually been to Blackrock and the reason was that well until recently there were several bugs in Blackrock where you could accidentally die and also it was kind of like a dangerous area so I decided not to risk it until after I reached day 1000. This is a unique case where there's actually a new area released while I'm playing on a run and this is actually the third time this has happened. So on this particular uh, run, which has now gone past a thousand days, uh, three regions have been released. So around day 260 or something, I went to Bleak Inlet for the first time. And around day 600 something, I went to Ash Canyon for the first time. And I think I still have the footage of that somewhere. So if you would like to see some retrospective footage, I can probably dig it out. But anyway, this was a stream, but it was quite fun because we had a lot of encounters with wolves. And it also gives you a good idea of how does an interloper player deal with a new region, a brand new region, uh, when you are already established in a game. I already have all the skills, all the tools, all the gear, everything, but you still got to go somewhere new. Now, it's not that I'm not familiar with Blackrock. I've been there many times before on other runs, so I knew more or less where things were. But this is really the first time I go on the main run. So this video is about the stream where I go from Mystery Lake uh, through Keepers Pass, which also is a very interesting region, and then into Blackrock itself, and we have some fun adventures there. If you'd like to see what happened in Blackrock, but you don't particularly fancy watching the whole thing, I do have a five-minute digestible video that shows some of the highlights with wolves that happen in this. But if you'd like to watch the whole gameplay, which has more the highlights and more things, this is the uh, slightly edited stream from when this happened. So yeah, hope you enjoy and stay safe out there, survivors. Ahoy, yourself. Hello everyone, hey Pam, Malcolm, Higgity, Haunted Phoenix, Nauch, this Santa. <laughs> okay, let's uh, hop in here. Uh, there we go. Let's just make sure this is fine. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright, so here we are then. <laughs> no worries, corn dog. Thank you. So I have. <laughs> hey, it's what? Slick. Hello, Slick, and thank you for the twenty-two months subscription, which is absolutely crazy. Nice to see you, Slick. Hope you're doing well. All right. So what we're going to do today? We're going to go to Blackrock. So I have not yet been in Blackrock on this character. I have been in Blackrock and other characters. I went in the um, basis tournament and I went, of course, in my interloper spawn video and in episode four. So I'm fairly familiar with the region, uh, but I've only been to Keepers Pass once. So what I thought I would do today is I would go from Mystery Lake to Pleasant Valley, uh, do a little stop at the farm and then head into Blackrock through the um, Keepers Pass. And just take our time. We're not going to explore all of Black Rock or anything today. Just kind of, <laughs> what? Just kind of go there and get there, explore. Uh, if I have time, I would like to get the stim and the uh, vest. I guess that's about it. So yeah, that's kind of what I want to do today. We're on day one thousand and seven, and we'll take a few days just to get there. I think. First things first. I need arrows because I'm going with to fight Timberwolves, and I think I have a couple extra arrows there, and I think I'm going to take those, which we'll do. And I don't know if I need to bring any Marine Flares, I'll probably find Marine Flares there, so I think I'll pause on that. Let's gear up a bit. And also, um, sorry, I, I catch up here. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the subscription, uh, Pam, the gift is up to Corndog. Enjoy the sub, <laughs> Corndog. <laughs> Uh, can you explain the sticks drop point north thing? I test this and seem to clearly point east and west. Yeah, I can explain that in a, in a bit. 
Hey, silly Val, and hey, uh, Summer, how are you doing? I can explain that when I come out. I'm going to bring, yeah, I'll bring two stems because it's a new area. Uh, this is fairly well. <laughs> oh, I think I want to repair these two before I go. So let's do that. Let's grab one, two. I actually need to get more deer heights soon. Let's repair this. And uh, Quanta gifted a subscription back to Pam. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's repair these. It's getting dark soon. Hey, C, how are you doing? All right, we might wait until the morning before we go, but we have cabin fever risk, so we'll see. Yeah, this is my main base. Uh, let me just sort a couple things out and I'll be right with you. Oh, Alright, so let's see. Uh, I uh, Well, these I'm not going to repair yet, at least. Let me have a look at my... Yeah, I got these. Oh, we might bring some charcoal, because I want to map. The ball was 43%. Mm, might have to change that. Uh, well, that's... Let's see here. Yeah, well, that's 58. We'll take that one. <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits, Summer. That's the kind. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I think I'll take these ones because I think I can just... Maybe I should take a better hatchet since it's a new area. That's an idea. So let's take this one. And we'll dump this one. And I think we'll stay here for one night. I think the knife is fine. We'll take a pry bar to open lock as we find. We have torches, that's fine. This is full. Uh, this is fine. Take one cloth. Uh, there's not much cloth in Ash Canyon, but that's okay. We'll take food and water. And I think we are good now. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So we're quite ready to go, but I'm going to sleep one more night though. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> and in this base, uh, I will um, soon, uh, maybe tomorrow, release a video about this base. Let me explain the stick thing if uh, that works. Yeah, so the stick thing that you asked about. Uh, is it past night now? Yeah. I can't be able to. Okay, so if you drop a stick, just one, see it points that way. So it's, it's pointing north. But as you will notice, if you think of a world map of Mystery Lake like this, right? It's not really pointing upwards, is it? It's pointing kind of like this way, or maybe like this way, right? The thing is that uh, north in the game is not determined by the orientation of the map. So in this particular case, if you look at Mystery Lake, north isn't up like here, is coming. right? So if I'm in the lookout and I look north, that's not actually here. It's basically wherever the stick points. That's north, which would be like, I guess it's like this or something like that. Uh, so we just generally say that the stick points north, but it doesn't really point north. It just points the north of that map. So if you go to a different map, it will point a different direction. That's because uh, the game has has different, a uh, different region has different north and south points. But it doesn't really make a difference because it, uh, in general you can say it always points north but even if it doesn't point north it will always be consistent like if i drop another stick i see it always points the same direction so it doesn't really matter if this is not north that way it will always point the same direction so the trick will be will work regardless you'll just uh, go that direction instead which will be in this case uh, something like this i guess so it doesn't technically speaking point north. Well, it does point north, but in for that region. But north is not the equivalent to up. So um, it, it points north, but it doesn't point upwards, if that makes sense. That's basically it. I'm going to wait a little bit here. You have tea lining I have, that's right. I bought the forest today. Oh, there we are. On sale and stream my first try. Oh, nice, but turn mutants off. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Sandler. Yep, you have to. Each map will be different, but they don't have a pattern. So, for example, if you look here, right? So, north in Mystery Lake is 
almost up, so it is kind of like, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's just say it is up here. If you now go to, um, say, Mountain Town, it, it, it's not going to match. If you go into each map and orient them, you, you're not going to find a consistency. The way I understood it is that initially when the game began, they wanted to create some sort of global setting and have the uh, the, the the sun all be um, like aligned to be consistent, but they kind of gave up on it. So instead, each re region has its own uh, north-south distribution. That is That is how I understood it, at least. Uh, I could be wrong about that, so don't take my word as gospel for this. But the way I understood it, that's that's how it works. But even if the uh, the stick is inconsistent and just points, you know, completely different for every region, it doesn't really make a difference because it will always be consistent in that region. So you'll always get an idea of where you are. Yeah. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? <laughs> I wish I'd learned this. <laughs> you can do it with anything. You don't have to use sticks. You can place any item on the ground, and they all have a consistent way of doing it. They all have a, a specific way they're pointing. Okay, now it's time to go to Blackrock. First, we're going to full up on everything. And then we'll go. It's going to be cold out, but that's okay. We'll probably sprint to the camp office and rest a bit there. Okay, and then we have quite a lot of space, which is great. Uh, we got everything. I don't think we need the crampons where we're going, but I'll take them anyway. And yeah, I want to take some charcoal though. Let's take some charcoal. Let's take like 15 of them or something. 16, fine. And I want to take that much of that. And then I'll take some food. And then we can go. Right. No moose. Let's grab a couple of moose steaks. That's probably enough. We can take one more for good measure. And then let's just run out of here and get to Pleasant Valley ASAP. Yeah. Where's your favorite spot for home base? Uh, when I make a base, I always make the base in Trapper's Cabin or sometimes in Camp Office. Mystery Lake is by far the best place for a home base simply because it connects everywhere you know from here you can get to mountain town you can get to pleasant valley and you can get to coastal highway and you can get to all the muskegs there's four exits and entries to this region so there's a lot of things um uh, to connect to here and that's really really great so that's the main reason you want to have this as your base it connects everywhere and that's what's so great about mystery lake if I couldn't have a base in Mystery Lake, whether it is Camp Office or Trappers, uh, then it would vary. I, would, I guess probably the farmhouse in Pleasant Valley is the next best thing. Um, I really like Timberwolf Mountain. The Mountaineer's Hut is a fantastic base. So I would love to just be there. But it doesn't connect that many places, so it's not a good main place. Tested in Pleasant Valley and pointed east and west or left and right according to the map. I didn't know that wasn't a true orientation. Yeah, there you go. So it's just because of the that, the orientation of that map. And that's all it that dies. Can't feel my feet. Take a shot cut over here. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, meat. <laughs> uh, I have a video about my base. Okay, this, this wolf is not going to be an issue, I don't think, because this other wolf is on me. So we can kind of ignore it. Okay, the other wolf ignored me instead. So. I'm just gonna walk away from this. Damn, freezing. What's the chance of getting parasites twice in a row from good condition cooked wolf meat? Because that happened to me. <laughs> the odds of that, it depends on your percentage. If it was 1% and you got it twice in a row, then it would be 1 in 200. So the the odds reset, you know. How many days? This is one thousand seven. Right, we're going to warm up here in the camp office just to regain some stamina and warmth and wait for the day to get slightly warmer because we are pretty good in terms of warmth. 
but um, we need to get there. Usually when you get to this stage in the game, it takes a few days just to get to a new area because you need to um, you need to stop everywhere. So at this stage in the game, I have bases everywhere. I have food, usually in multiple locations in each region. So it's all about just running from one place to another, eat, uh, repeat, and move on. But when we get the black rock, it will be completely new. Everything we find in black rock is going to be ruined, except for uh, the vest and the medicine. I usually do camp up and leave a stash in hydro down. Yeah, that also works. Gas station in bleak. In bleak and the train car in full on. Yeah, that's good. Do you mean in mountain town? There's some more meat. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. Thank you, Puppy Cactus. And thank you so much for the subscription, uh, Puppy Cat Bus. Thank you very much. That's my cabin fever. No, I was very close, but that's alright. We'll sleep two hours here. Thank you for tuning in. I, I do appreciate it. If I disappear from stream suddenly, uh, it's just because I'm taking care of my cat who's wandering about. As you can see here, I've kind of harvested everything in the camp office. There's not much left here to really get. But there's still a lot of cloth left to find in Mystery Lake, in Mountain Town especially. And I'm going to actually eat this. Nice, I'm going to have a drink. And we'll grab... No, we don't need more of that. We can take another food item though. All right now it's a little bit warmer outside. Here's some more food. We're gonna take my regular shortcut as it were, which is over the mountain. If there is a moose, I will kill the moose. It's still a little while since I killed the moose. I have since day 900 or so, so they're logging when I kill them. Uh, but I think at this stage in the game, when you're this long into the late game, uh, it, I think it takes 144 days or something like that. Call it 150. 150 days for a moose to respawn. So I can encounter with a bear in Timur Mountain across from up the area that is coming from summer to rope down. Very scary. Oh, that is scary. Yeah, it, it can roam in that area. And I want to get a sprain there, so we'll do this. <clears throat> Do cattails respawn? No, no, they don't. They only respawn uh, uh, in patches. The same goes for saplings and mushrooms and roll sips. Uh, none of that resp respawns. The only exception is if the developers are making a change to the region. If the developers are making some sort of change, like they maybe changed the terrain, or they added some cattails somewhere, or whatever, if they are doing something like that, uh, then sometimes the terrain resets, and you can get cattails and also saplings and stuff that you harvested to before. Place to escape this cold. But that's not reliable. So. Sleep for an hour here. Yeah, and if the game was realistic, they would respawn, but a lot of things would respawn and Back. be different. GG on 1,000 days, mate. 2,000 days, here we come. Deadu <laughs> 5, woohoo. <laughs> Thank you, Deadbug, for the 100 bits and for that message. Yeah, 2,000 days, here we come. <laughs> I will stream this run every now and then, and I'll do some offline as well. If people are interested in the occasional VOD uh, or narration on YouTube, I can do that too. And good job with your base, that bug in the basis tournament. I have done a video showing some of the bases, and you are in that video. Um, it will be out, I don't know, maybe late next week or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, 
I liked your bear drawing base. Alright. If there's a moose, I'm going to kill the moose, but I don't think there is a moose. Have you ever had a run where you ran out of saplings and broke all the arrows? No, I still uh, no. This is the longest run I have and I still have a lot of saplings. I moved most of the saplings into the trapper's cabin. But even so, uh, I can probably make, I don't know, maybe 20 more bows and I don't even know, maybe 60 more hours or something like that. So I don't think it's going to run out. If it did, then well, it'll be harder, but you can still survive. Uh, yeah, that's possible. Nazi sound that they don't respawn just to make things harder. It could, could be. Also, like seasons could make it more tricky. Uh, let me see if the moose is here. I don't think it is. I can't hear anything. You can usually hear it tramping about. No, it's not. It. Let's grab the perch, though. Doesn't seem to be any. But here, for example, I have harvested the cattails, but if they change something, it might come back. There's still a lot of cattails around in my run, though. If you look closely whenever I'm near a river or something, you'll see there's a lot of cattails. Because I, I usually stop harvesting natural resources once I don't need them anymore. My fingers feel so I still leave them around. Uh, give me a sec, there could be uh, a wolf here. Oh, we got rid of cabin fever by just uh, sleeping there. Yeah, you run, wolf. <laughs> Alright, let's head to Pleasant Valley. I think I got some stuff there. Respawn can only work if there are seasons, but I required those to make much more. Uh, second game, I'll yeah, that, I think so. I don't think they'll ever introduce seasons. Maybe if they did the game again. Wait. Got some more I'm of so these. Cold. Do I need that? Again. Grab two of them. We got some more food here. I'll grab one of these. And there's the dam. So the dam, I have actually broken down all the crates in the dam. Uh, so there are no more crates anywhere in the dam. They've all been broken down. Uh, there are some cardboard boxes and some other stuff to break down. But other than that, it's all broken down in here. I think it gave me about 400 wood, about 400 reclaimed wood. There's still metal to break down, and cardboard and other stuff, but we'll do that some other time. It was a great tournament. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> uh, so it seems like they put in enough resources that it won't really be a problem unless it's like 3,000 more days. Sounds about right. So you can survive indefinitely though, if you like. Here's all the wood I have left. I took a whole bunch of this wood to uh, Trapper's Cabin and I left the rest of it here. Uh, but it's just too much of it. But it's about... And this pile, I think there's 230 reclaimed wood, I think. And I took uh, at least 100 back to the base, but I used it over time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for this video. I'm sure it'll be awesome. To, at least still speaking about your video of his bear fight. When he <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I saw that live and I thought this would be fun to put on. And he said, yeah, do it. Yeah, so I have a video about my own base, not my main base, just to show how my main base works in this run. It will be out maybe tomorrow. And then uh, maybe end of next week or something, I will upload the basis video. Uh, three months summer. Hit, sack hit 153 days on my current run of customs. Oh, good job, Mikey. Is that a record for you? Or have you got longer? That was really good. Oh, let me get some shout outs actually, because um, I hope Cloudbot is all up. Oh, is it not? Well, let me fix it then. Uh, Cloudbot turns itself off every now and then. I think it's probably because I'm not active enough. Let me just get that sorted. Cloudbot is off. Yep. There we go. And uh, I think mods also can shout out. So 
Oh, actually, can everyone everyone shout? I don't know. I don't know. It has Mikey and that book and anyone else. Uh, wait, why did that book not work? Yes, it is. It goes on highway. I've seen it. Yeah, that's right. You have seen it. Uh, <laughs> but, um, there we go. Now it worked. Um, I got electrocuted to death last time. I said, "Damn, yeah, that uh, I've died like that, Mister Chow. You can get electrocuted in the dam." Hey, Art, Artium Vapes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> glad to see you too. All right, let's head to Pleasant Valley. Okay, now it's afternoon, so now the cold is practically not an issue. Notice there's no crates anywhere, no crates here either. And I think it was one of these that had a box, this one, but there was nothing in it, so it was kind of pointless. All right, there is a shortcut we're not going to use. We're just going to keep running, really. Get to the farm. Sounds like the wolf has uh, killed the bunny down there. Yeah, the wolf has killed the bunny. There's a little shortcut that a lot of people use. It's very handy to get up here. It looks like you can't get up there, but you can very easily. You just go like this. Hug the wall and then you're up. Now you can skip the entire wolf part. He's busy killing a rabbit. And then you can just head down here on this side. And there's actually a little drop down here. Uh, this drop here, it looks like it's too far and you can take damage, but actually you don't take damage falling down here. Oh, okay, this time you do. <laughs> they might have changed it, or maybe I was too, too far, far off. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that was actually the first time I ever taken damage, so <laughs> maybe I was slightly too far up. Um, <laughs> oh, that hurts. Guess you can take damage, though. So. That's alright, we're gonna sleep that off, so it's not big. Wouldn't be a good stream if you don't make mistakes. I may know this game in and out, but I make mistakes too. Oh, I rush things and don't do it properly. I think that was what happened there. Can you climb out of bounds? I could do, but um, there's no point doing it now, because I already left that shortcut. Oh, that hurts. Uh, can, I could show you how to go out of bounds here in Pleasant Valley, but it's a detour. That would require me going to the farm, and then I would have to go away from the farm, and then you get teleported to the plane, and then you go back to the farm, and then to Blackrock. So I don't think I'll be doing that today. I'll do that some other time, though. Tim Wolf Mountain also is out of bounds. They, they can use... Hey, that's Yeah, my cat. My cat's here. I'm just petting it. What are you doing, cat? Yeah. I'm just walking now. Walking towards Pleasant Valley. I could sleep this off. I could bandage it, but I'm very, very greedy with resources. I don't use resources unless I have to. So I just um, uh, try to sleep off sprains rather than using the cloth. That's at least what I'm doing. And I could sleep it off here, but I'd rather wait until it's nightfall. So we're just gonna walk it, I think. Uh, yeah, I've died. Uh, we need to uh, listen. I've died in the Damn, twice, I think. I think it was oh, once so on good. story mode. I didn't really at the time understand what happened, and then once on stream. <laughs> that was unlucky when I died, though. The Aurora hit while I was crossing the wires, and I was heavy, so I couldn't run. So I died. There was, there was no way out. Uh, 
gonna be listening to Will grunting a little bit. I could sleep this off, but then it'll be night time when I get there, and I'd rather not go out at night. That's a general good rule for survival. Don't go out at night. If you do, you're, you're putting yourself in a lot of additional risks. Night wolves are more or less the same as regular wolves, except that they can ambush you in ways that day wolves can't. But they are, generally speaking, not much different. But going out at night, is just you have less visibility, you have less control of where animals are, and it's colder. Uh, and if an aurora hits, it's much, much harder. If you have an aurora, then you have no defense against the animals other than avoiding them or not killing them. Unless you play in lower difficulties, then you can use the um, the flashlight. <coughs> uh, let's see if the bear is around. Oh yeah, he is. So he's right there. I'd rather see if I can get rid of him. No, I didn't go for it. He's actually kind of in the way. There you go. You go that way. That's good. Uh, I did a climb the out of bounds pub recently and Mount Mystery Lake some time ago and mapped out of the out of bounds. <laughs> That's cool. I have actually fallen out of bounds once on this run. It was in um, Broken Railroads. I was just, uh, it was shortly after getting day 500 and I was just exploring some nooks and crannies that I hadn't been to. And I went up this mountainside in, in Broken Railroad and I suddenly fell through the world. I don't feel so and, uh, good. Yeah, but eventually I just came back into it. Because I think all, all regions have a failsafe, so if you fall out of the world, they teleport you back in. That's how I understand that anyway. I'll send you a picture of a disc showing you what my cat is doing if I'm ignoring it too long. Yeah, do that. <laughs> it was funny at Tragic. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Going out at night, that's Helga's favorite pastime in TLD. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can do the challenge called Endless Night, and then you just don't have daytime at all. Uh, what you could do if you wanted to do live a brutal existence is to start a a run. It doesn't have to be interloper, but say it is interloper. And then you set on endless night so that you never have sunshine, it's always night, and you put aurora frequency to high. Then the um then the uh, mag lenses becomes useless and also the uh, the raw wolves are more common. Zach needs a cat. <laughs> uh, we have a cat now, actually. So we got a cat uh, um, yesterday. So she's like pottering about. Yeah. Hey, Killer Tune, Smart how are you doing? Nice to see you. How are you doing? Thank you for your support and welcome to the stream. First aid. Soon. Anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll sort out uh, later. <laughs> She's still getting adjusted. I don't think there's saplings around, so um, at this stage in the game, I very rarely pick up anything oh, in the world. Uh, so things like rose hips and mushrooms, I usually leave alone. They, those are mostly harvested in the early game. And I don't really loot much, uh, except if I happen to use a cattail, then I will pick some new ones up. And if I drink any rose hip teas, especially for things like broken ribs, then I might go out and find some more. So in, but in Black Rock, I might harvest some just to establish a base. The main base, I think, will probably be. Bricklayers retreat, I think. And what we'll do is we'll set up a base there and then I'll make sure to have some row sip teas around there. The main reason to go to Black Rock is well, I haven't been there on this character, so fine. That's fine. But 
the main reason is to get the stim. You want to get the stim? I would also like to get the the noisemaker blueprint if possible. And I would maybe like to get the vest. I don't think I'm going to use the vest, but I'd like to get it. Thank you for the follow. No fair fights. <laughs> Alright, we're getting cold now. I'm just going to pass time to the next day in, play in the farmhouse. I don't think there's that much meat left in the farm, which is why I uh, I took so much meat with me. Of course, once we get to Black Rock, it's a new region and there's no supplies there, so I need to set up a base. Feels so good. Set up a base and get food going. Most likely we'll use Bricklayer's Retreat. If not, uh, I don't remember if there's a workbench in the trailer. No, but there is one in Cook's farm. Yeah. These are also pretty close. I made my main base in the prison guard building in the prison. It doesn't have a bear spawn in the courtyard. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, yeah. <laughs> I will place the free bears. bears and yeah. There's the wolves. Damn, that's smart. Alright. Watching a team of mountain instructors this morning while dog sitting for my friend. Glad to see you. No worries. Soon. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I think. Oh, I might make a walkthrough of Archivist also, but I don't know if I can be bothered to make a walkthrough of Nomad. It would, but it would be a shame to not do all of them. But Nomad is so easy; you just go from one place to the other. So <laughs> you just wait around, pretty much. I don't feel so good. Yeah, okay, I do have a little bit of meat here, but not a lot. But it should be enough. And we can take some of these sticks. We might need them where we're going. Now we have a little bit more of the base going as well. Um, oh, that hurts. A lot of wood here too. <laughs> uh, but I don't think there's much else. I think, do I have any curtains? Yeah, there are some curtains. Some meat I never cooked. And some more saplings for even more bows and arrows. We're gonna stay the night here, I think. I'll cloth still if I need anything. How am I doing with the cloth items, actually? Uh, they can stay for now. For now. I'm going to wait here. Let's have a drink. Past tag was good, yes. Past, past Damn, sack. Damn, that's smart. Oh. I was playing risk. Wasn't it? Yeah, past sack has been very generous. He's just leaving food everywhere and leaving water. He's just extremely thoughtful for the future. Not like past ones. Past ones and only is like he leaves his scraps of meat and then future ones picks them up and it's like five calories in there. Let's not lose our well fed. Uh, there we are. I think we can probably sleep here. Let's eat two of these. And since we need to hunt when we get to Black Rock, I want to bring some food with me. There we go. This stream was a bit impromptu, by the way, so sorry if it was short notice for people, but I just um, um, decided to do it kind of on the spot. All right, nice. Uh, let's get ourselves organized. It's morning, so it's going to be cold, but that's okay. We'll probably make a fire there. Drink his own pee doesn't seem so crazy so let's right now. eat this. I don't think that will finish it. No, nope, it won't. I'm not sure how much water I have here. Best time of three. I've come up with a TLD challenge run. You play on Stalker, you have to get the backpack, a rifle, and all military gear possible, including the vest. Okay, so like, you mean combat boots, combat pants, uh, military jacket, and then backpack, and rifle, and then I guess the rest is whatever. 
and then you kill five moose and 20 bears all in 50 days. It's called Winter Salt. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's a fun challenge. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun. Should be doable. Uh, 20 bears is a little tricky. The five moose may not be possible because you might be unlucky and just not get the spawn. So I, in the recent tournament I did, that was interloper, but still moose spawns were quite high. Uh, in 40 days, I only found, found four moose. So, okay, we need to leave a little bit of water for future Zach. All right. Hey, uh, Obi Al X. Hey, bro, I got into the game because of you. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm about to get my first bone stalker. Awesome. Taking a few tries for the moose. Uh, because I'm getting used to him. Yeah, just need a hammer. Keep it a great bow. Thanks, uh, TG Kells. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And good luck with your bow. It takes a while to get used to shooting with it, but you'll be fine. All right, we have a clear day. If that's the case, what we're going to do is we're going to start a fire because I want a torch. I want to take advantage of the um, the sun being out. Which is often the case in the morning. Come on. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put on a few sticks here. The only drink, I have one of these which will also heat up. Now I'm going to grab some torches. Because they will make it a little bit easier with wolves and what have you. Now I'm going to grab a bunch of these. And let's grab one or more of these, or maybe two more of these. Yeah. Grab some torches. Same always. Cool. Yeah. You can grab even more torches, to be honest. If you're level 5 high starting, you can actually harvest sticks this way. If you're fast enough and put a stick on and then take a torch and then douse it, harvest it, put the stick back on, you can actually farm uh, torches that way. Alright, here we go. And now it's foggy, so now we can't use this anymore. There's the bear, and he's kind of in my way, but I uh, should be fine. We'll go this way. I'll be attracted to wolves because I'm carrying a bunch of meat, but I'll be alright. We don't really care about the wolf, we care about the bear that's over there. So I'm going to go this way, get past the bear. Uh, thank you for the follow, Tittyville. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Focaccia. Focaccia is great bread. After about one and a half months, I'm almost at day 200, going private. Awesome, Weekly Fred. Best of luck with that. Love the vids, keep it up. Thank you, Focaccia. Wow, Focaccia. With an extra C. Let's see. Speaking of Cs, let's see how this goes. So the bear now is pretty far away. I would, I would say no way. So there shouldn't be an issue. So let's get out of here and head to Blackrock. Let's drink this. So cold. Let's get rid of this bear. I mean wolf. They won't bother us anymore. There we are. Now the bear and the wolf is far enough away to not be particularly annoying anymore. Let's head to Blackrock then, or rather, let's go to Keeper's Pass. So I haven't really explored Keeper's Pass very much. I've only been in Keeper's Pass once in total. So Blackrock I know pretty well, but uh, although not as well as some other streamers, like for example, Once and Only. Um, or Kimiota, but uh, it's, I know it's all right. But keep his parts, I've only been in once, so um, so cool. I barely I don't really know Just the, the whole region kind of like by heart yet. So I might spend some time planning and mapping that out too, just so you know. But we'll get to Blackrock in this run. I don't think I'll do everything I want to do in Blackrock on this stream. Like, I don't think I'll get the noise makers and the stim and the vest and all of that this stream. But it's more about just getting there and, you know, getting settled. So this road that used to be a dead end now leads to Keeper's Pass, so we're going to take that route. 
So do you know whether the boom cans can deter moose and bear charge? Uh, they can, yeah. Or at least I've done that. Yeah. They can even kill bear and moose, but only if they're already injured. But at least uh, I have managed to do that. I have managed to scare off bears and moose with the can. But I have seen people fail at it too, so I'm not 100% sure how consistent it is. I don't feel also that it's a particularly good resource. To me, the... Uh, let's get some feathers in case I make any. Just doing here. To me, the noisemakers are an interesting choice, but they, they don't really serve that much purpose. Because even against a pack of timber walls, you need to throw like three noisemakers at them in order to actually uh, achieve scaring them away. Which I think is a bit much, unless you hit, hit them with it. There is one upside to it though, one thing that is very good about them, and that is that they also work against Aurora Wolves. So if you're out in the Aurora, then you could uh, find some use for for them. Oh, floating torch, how nice. That's because they changed this. Uh, let me see if I can map this actually, because I have, there we are, yeah. So let me make a fire here, quickly, because <coughs> I don't want to lose the torch. I mapped Blackwell and still didn't know it all. Poor memory to map. Yeah, it takes a while. <laughs> Let me just fix something, by the way. Um, P killer two. Because uh, you're a uh, your Patreon, so you got a VIP. Well, thank goodness for that. There we go. And then I'm gonna be cold, which is fine. I just wanna do this because now this exit is here. There we go. Actually, one thing. I want to make these two teas that I have because I'm cold. Um, yes, as I keep it fast, full of wolf. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> hey, freezing man, how are you doing? Can't say for long, I want to say hi. How are you? I am good, thank you. How are you doing? Let's uh, shout out freezing man here. Freezing man is another streamer. Also love the flying coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, that was funny. Hey Elsamon, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, really did me a lot of people in here now. Hope you're all doing alright. Sorry if I miss anything in chat. Uh, sometimes when there's a lot of people I miss things. But I do have it right in front of me. I do try to catch everything people say. There we go. Now we're not as cold. Let's head out of here and head to Keeper's Pass. <coughs> ah, that sucks. Alright, Keeper's Pass. It's too cloudy, I think, to map this, isn't it? Uh, we can try, though. Let's make another fire here. <coughs> hey, Miss Ivory is short. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> is he packing before moving? Oh, when's your birthday and where are you moving to? Do I have another tea? I think maybe I do. Yeah, I do. I don't think I have another one. No. Let's try mapping. No, it's too low condition. If that's the case, I might try and wait this out. Hey, no worries. Hey, really dead meat. Ah, oh, two cloth. How about that? Alright, I'm gonna use a coal here. Because I actually want to map this out. Uh, so I'm gonna wait this out a little bit. Hey, granola candy, how about that? Good to eat. Nothing else. Just in case. I don't think I have anything else, no. We can make some water though. About a liter of each. And then we can just wait that out. Mm -hmm. I'll turn 40 is coming fast. Eee, 90 and moving from 74 square part to two of, wow, that's massive difference. Yeah, well, that's out of town for you, isn't it? 
see if this clears up. I would prefer going forward while it's being clear. Let's see if I can find some more sticks to warm this up a bit. And then I'm going to wait this out because I would like to. Something's got to go. Uh, map a little bit. Am I doing it there? Yeah, that's fine. Pass an hour. These fogs usually don't last more than three or four hours. Yeah, that uh, sounds good. <laughs> hey, Killer Simmer 97, how are you doing? I don't have anything to do, but I could make another one liter of water. Why not? I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Come on, clear up. There we go. Now it's clear. You can actually map something. Hey, how about that? Look at that. And let's go. And now it's late afternoon, so it's much warmer. And I never really explored the nooks and crannies of this, but I'll probably do this more detailed another time. Uh, rather than now, it's going to take too long, but I'm just having a little look around. Because <clears throat> Keeper's Pass is the area I know the least. I haven't seen if I step on this. Is this breakable? Hmm, seems safe. Grab some of these. I don't want to carry this fire for a while. Hey, Sack, love your YouTube content. Thank you. First time checking out the stream. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Glad you liked the videos. There we are at this bridge that I don't remember the name of. Ah. Oh, sorry, they are sick. Hope they get better. Can we go down here? Yeah, I guess we can, yeah. Do that later. Well, if you play on Stalker or below, you should always check the back of trucks. Like, just hover over it like this. But sometimes there's tools in the snow, you just can't see it. You can also make a fire here. Like that. If, if you want to. So it becomes a fire truck. <laughs> And thank you for that, uh, Sergeant Shasta. Let's map this out. Hey, look at that. I mapped a lot. Is there any, like, secret things here? So these areas are huge, I have been told. Yeah, you can go here, can't you? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a hole in the ice. Just having a little look around here. If there's anything curious. This doesn't look particularly safe. Yeah, there's a bit of land here, though. Look at that. Like a little area. But nothing really to it. But it's good to know. Let me try if this time will work. I think it will work. Yeah, I didn't really do much, but can't feel my feet. Zach is uh, throwing jokes without being forced to. Which, yeah, that's a force of habit. <laughs> uh, oh, the current challenge is not Escape the Dark Walker, so ignore that. I don't know why that's. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Killer Simmer. 
I'm gonna try to develop this rescue channel soon after seeing a YouTube video. That's awesome. I hope it goes well. I'm sure you can manage just fine. Alright, so we have some wolves here then. I might kill these wolves. <laughs> because um, I don't really want them around while I do mapping and things. Speaking of which... If I'm mapping the area, I'd rather not have wolves around. Might even... Uh, Cook some of it. Gonna make a lot of fires this run. I would, I would say Get some more meat. Come on, man. We only need a few sticks for this to be warm. Preferred tool is always for me. Hacksaw. Easy to repair. Oh, I'm actually uh, still. Alright, fine. Let's just put on these sticks here. Mm, there's a couple sticks. I don't want to use the coal, you see, if I can avoid it. I might stay the night there in this trailer. It's actually kind of fun to explore Keeper's Pass. Now it's warm enough. We can take all of this. We don't need the pelts or guts or anything. At least not now. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Pam. Uh, I have the last few months I tend to get around 100, the highest I have about 180, but this is more like a non-special stream I, I guess, so I don't think so, but we'll see. Let's drop these, we don't smell too much, and let's map this. Oh, it's getting cold again. Alright, we didn't actually map the trailer for some reason. Let's uh, also do this, grab these two, and then put that. Now let me see over here. Why did it not map the trailers? Do I have to be like right next to it? Well, sometimes that's a necessity, you have to do this. Ah, there we go, much better. Right, let's check out these cars. Let's also get some sticks and stuff over here. Now supposedly these cars actually have heated seating. It's quite fun to Dying be here because I've only been through here once before. I mostly explored Blackrock, not the, not these other regions. So let's uh oh there's a fire barrel here, that's good to know. Let's check out this trailer. Um The coffee maker mode's coming back, made affiliate getting some modes perfect. We should definitely get that emote, that's great. I'm doing the Phoenix Challenge and I was stuck in Angry Den for four days because of bad weather. I started watching a gold mine video and I'm going to follow through to help me. That sounds good. Yeah, that's a uh, video hopefully helps. That was one lost. Let's be able to heal the enough to visit some wolves, a local wildlife preserve. Ooh, awesome. I'll be sure to bring a torch. <laughs> Alright, see you, kill it, you know. For now, announce stays earlier. It's a great amount. And my cat is just jumping on my lap watching to. Yeah, does she count? Yeah, she counts as two. All cats count like slicks us. Is a workbench? Oh, okay. That's good to know. Oh, another spray paint for my collection. Another granola bar. I might start collecting these things. I'll only eat it if I have to. Let's see what else we got here. <coughs> I used to live in um, uh, in England, and there was a zoo where I lived uh, that had a lot of wolves. And they were great. I went many times to see them. But one day the wolves escaped and they had to euthanize the ones that escaped, which was a shame. Some of the wolves came back on their own volition, they escaped and then they got 
kind of lost, I guess, and then they just went back into the, the zoo by themselves. But some of them didn't, and when they were found, they were put down. I think the justification they used was that if you used tranquilizers, they could panic, and they were in residential areas. So then they didn't do it. All right, let's check this out. Cloth. I'm getting a lot of cloth here, but everyone said there was no cloth here. All right. Got a hat. It's going to be ruined. Oh wow! I think I can use this. No, it is ruined. Yeah. It just didn't say ruined when I picked it up. Flatbush cats. They rescue cats on the streets of New York City. Some good stories. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, hey, look at this. Drawers. We don't really need any of this stuff, but... There's the heated seating or whatever. Is that not this one? Oh, we got a supply bin too, a firewood bin. This yeah. will come in handy. Yeah, it will come in handy, thank you. This is a crate. No way. You have to break this down. For sure. Let's see how we're doing with this. Uh, it's all cooked. To escape this cold. Let's have a look at this crate over here. I'm curious what's in it, if anything. Why are they ruined? They're ruined because the timer starts when the run begins. So because I'm on day 1009 now, effectively the um, the clothes have been there for a thousand days. Whenever you enter a new region like that, that happens. There's going to be a lot of campfires around. <laughs> so they will always be ruined. Uh, our region got Two packs setting down, not everyone is happy, not much deep forest left, the walls are protected the species. That's good. Now let's try and break this down. You get scrap metal from it. Oh, nothing in it. Alright, let's see. Uh, I want to go this way. Check this out. Damn. Freezing. Are you going to put this on YouTube? Yeah, probably I'll put this on YouTube, yeah. I might grab some teas for warmth. Was this hangster in Beanham? Uh, no, it wasn't, no. I haven't been there. It wasn't a sanctuary, it was like a zoo. I'm going to grab these two. Just has a oh so glad to finally catch uh, your stream after watching all of YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna grab some of these, not all of it though. Oh, what's this passage in here? I'm gonna do some exploration here. Maybe we should follow the road though first. I like following the road. Let's have some food. Let's eat uh, this. Very heavy. Probably sleep in the trailer soon. We're not really in a hurry, we have so much resources. So basically you can't use any cloth that you find here, like the vest and the other things. Uh, the vest should be fine, because the vest is a different kind of clothing item, it's not really clothing. So the vest is fine. I think the vest will be no problem really. But the other things, uh, yes, all the clothing you find will be broken. The same thing happened when Ash Canyon was released and everything was ruined when I went there. And then when I went to Bleak Inlet, uh, most of it was ruined as well. Okay, this is the Milton Tunnel, isn't it? I'm gonna just tank some cold damage here. We might go back and sleep in this trailer before we continue, but we can have a quick look up here. Yeah, it goes to Milton, yeah. 
I guess it's the other side of the tunnel that Astrid finds. Hey, look at this. Birch saplings. Oh, and a deer carcass too. How cold is it? Minus eight. How much food does I have on it? Barely anything. Mm -hmm. I would still like to map this though. How much coal do I have? Four. I have these though. Minus minus eight. Ah, that's not worth it. I'm just going to instead harvest this and map it. Then I'll go back and sleep in the trailer. Wait a bit. Let me uh, grab these. And let me make a brief fire here. Yeah, we can use the reclaimed wood. Why not? <coughs> oh, I actually called it live Zach stream. This is like finding a random steam when I closed it to me. <laughs> hey, Toast with Jam. Welcome in. Let's drink this. There we go. And then I'm going to map this. There we go. And then I'm going to grab this. And then I'm going to grab this. The sun setting. It's gonna get a lot. I'm not gonna grab anything soon. else. It's not really necessary. We can cook it, I think. Looks like the wind is picking up. Can I map in here? Oh, look at this maple as well. Let's go up here and uh, map from here. The higher you are, the more you map. That's better. All right. Is there any record of how many days someone survived an interloper? Uh, there is no formal leaderboard. The the only official I <laughs> the only official leaderboard is the one that's in the Facebook group, which uh, has the uh, list. But the but that's only for people who's in that group. Uh, but there are people who have survived longer. So for a long time, Rational Bassist was the longest. He survived 15 years or 14 or whatever. And that's, uh, what's that? I think he survived about 5,000 days or something like that. And then there's quite a few people who survived a thousand days, like me, but most people stop after a thousand days. They can't be bothered uh, to go further. Uh, but uh, uh, Rational Bassist got to something like 5,000 days. There is also a Korean streamer called Lem H. And he, um, I think it's a, I think it's a he, is uh, over 10,000 days. Uh, I would shout him out but I don't remember his exact name because it's a Korean name and it translates to English to Lem H and there's some numbers. I do follow him on Twitch though. Um, but he only streams in Korean. Uh, although if you say hi in English, he'll reply in English and I've chatted him a couple of times. But uh, he mostly achieves that by hibernation. So if you go to his stream and watch him play, what he will often do is he'll do something like he'll go to a region and then he kills the bear, and he cooks it, he kills the moose, cooks it, and then he goes into a cave and he passes time, and he waits a whole day, passes time, sleeps, pass time, sleeps, and he does this again. He might pass 50 days waiting for the bear to come back, and then he kills the bear again, and then he cooks it and he leaves. And so he does a lot of that, he does a lot of time passing. So he hasn't spent 10,000 days kind of like running around playing the game quote normally like I'm doing now if you want to call it that uh, he kind of like hibernates a lot but I haven't seen the entire 10,000 days so I'm not going to say he does that the whole time but when I have been watching him he does that quite often to be fair though when you get to 10,000 days or 9,000 days uh, you if you if your goal is to just kill a bear and then wait and kill the bear again you know why not 
<laughs> so it is, you can play the this game however you want. Okay, we're gonna warm up in here and wait this out. <clears throat> and then we'll continue exploring in the morning. I wanna be able to sleep 10 hours, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. There we go. And let's eat the heavy stuff. Did they change the icons for their meat? I don't remember I this. Need to find a place to rest. I don't remember this looking like this. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> we're a little bit heavy, but we'll be all right. Finding a lot of cloth and stuff. These we can drop, I guess, if I remember to pick them back up. Let's sleep for ten hours. Let's eat uh, this. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it looked different. Uh, the other ones look the same to me. But the rest looks uh, different. They sometimes do that. They did the same thing with the, uh, the saplings. And one day I just noticed that they look different. They changed it so that when it was cured, it turned brown. Uh, that, they, that wasn't mentioned in any patch, no, it just happened one day. Okay, here we are. We have now recovered some health. Let's continue mapping a bit. What is this? Tar. Alright. Black Rock, that's where we're going. Let's check out these cars. I'm very heavy because I got a lot of food. Uh, I guess I don't need to hunt anymore for a little while. That's the wolf I killed. So there we have our scenic view. These cars are not actually on here, so we'll map this. There we go, that's better. Did we just get a sunny day? I think we did. More cl Wow, all of these cars have like double cloth in the back. Like all of them. Not that I'm complaining or anything. <laughs> I don't need anything from here, but I just want to see if they happen to have um, batteries. This one does have a battery. Okay. You can actually do this then. Uh, materials. Never felt so cold in my life. The only use this could be. I don't think I'll ever use a battery, but in case I do, I guess we can do it this way. Oh, what's this? I got a viewing point. Hmm, another crate to break down. I'm really curious what's in these, if there is anything at all. I call this minus 16. Okay, I think I'll break this down another time then. Let's go inside and warm up a bit first before I continue. Right. Um, there's a game called Northern Lights. I guess it's supposed to be, be kind of like TLD but in the Tundra. You should check it out if you haven't already. I did see that game somewhere. I can't remember why I saw it, but I did see it. And it looked, uh, looked okay. Your YouTube video helped me a lot, even though I haven't played TLD all that much in the past year. So you explain things very well and answer a lot of the unspoken questions I often have while playing the game. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I'm glad that you find the videos uh, useful. <coughs> Happy to help. I always like to explain things. I always assume that I just go about explaining things. Kind of like I just assume that the viewer doesn't know what I'm doing. Because some people who watch it will, will know this stuff. They'll be like, oh yeah, I already know all of this stuff. This is not news to me. But so for some, it will be new. And I think it's generally speaking always best to just assume that the viewer needs to follow along with what you're doing. So you should always explain it very thoroughly. There are some things you can gloss over, especially if it's a series. But if it's some sort of tutorial, then you need to always explain it from the beginning up. Otherwise, uh, people will just get confused. Hey, fishing hut. <coughs> 
We're quite high up here, so this will be good to map as well, but we're still a little bit too cold. Minus 20, this is a cold region. <coughs> Especially at plus 25, wow, that's crazy. Uh, I have a feeling there's a path down somewhere like there or over here or something. Is there anything here? This looks like it might be something. It is something. Yeah, look at this. Let's map this out. Oh, is this actually a path? This does not look like it's a path, no. Maybe we can go out of bounds. <laughs> Once a <laughs> yeah, once a teacher was a teacher. Now, if I know the streams and the gloss home and the details of the game, um, that I don't explain unless you play through the game for hundreds of hours. Yeah, exactly. So, if I were to stream every day, I probably wouldn't explain things as well in streams, but in videos, I would still. Uh, I play this game and I will stream it as well, so perhaps you want to come and watch and give you some advice. Cold is making my head feel right. Where did you come from? Oh, I see. Fine. Oh, there's two of them. Wow. Let's get the other one too. Because otherwise they're going to be on me the whole time. Um, right, come here. I'm so cold. There we go. Still sunny, so we can do this. Uh, let me catch up. I play this game on stream as well. Yeah, you should. Uh, when you stream, uh, Pam, post it in my Discord. So I like to give you a follow and stuff. Fire's life out here. I'm gonna cook these because um, then we can future sack and use it. So we're gonna cook the meat of these. Uh, permanent teach him on, yeah. <laughs> I see what you mean by a wolf uh, nest. That's a lot of wolves there. Eh? Look at the winds picking up. Should be right though. It feels like a lot of gear. Yeah, we're kind of protected there. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait this out. We have a lot of time, so. Stay there and cook, and we can also just dump, dump this. I think, Let's dump all of these. It's too heavy. Yeah. What a sneak! I used to be technical writer, so I appreciate you could teach you a clear explanation. <laughs> hey, no worries. Happy to do my best for that. Is there a way to rotate the arrow so you're not always using the same one over and over, other than dropping the lowest condition one? No, there isn't. You just. Uh, you, it will automatically choose the lowest condition arrow. The only way to do this, is what you said, you have to drop the uh, the arrow by its lowest condition. I don't know if I can map in this. Okay, that's the way down. Now that we kill the wolves, where does this road go? Oh, okay. Interesting. I can see why people say this is a huge area, because it really is. It's good to clear the wolves out, just to make sure that they are not going to be a threat later. I want to map some more here. So I'm going to go a bit further and come back. Thank you for the follow, Turpy Slurp 33. Hmm. There's a cool area, Keeper's Pass. Can't give you any advice, Lord. I haven't played yet, but definitely caught my eye. 
Let's see if worth buying. Oh, yeah, you should definitely get it for sure. Oh, look at this. Let me guess, double cloth. No, scrap metal, okay. Let's leave that. Let's check this out. Beef jerky. This is the connector from the latest update, I assume. That's right, yes. That is right. Right, is that where I just was? Does that lead up there? There we are. I barely changed any. Oh, it looks like this. Uh, saplings. Did I actually pick up the. Yeah, I did. I was gonna dump them somewhere. Let's go up here and check this out. Back to the phone. So cold. Well, maybe, yeah. <sighs> so, is this literally where I just was? No, this is somewhere else. Oh, I see it is. Yeah, okay. That's fine. It is, this is just a shortcut, basically. Yeah, you should play it, Killer Sim. It's great. Take these feathers. In case I make more arrows. Alright, these are cooked. I'm gonna leave these here for future sack. Look at these, these are not ruined. How about that? Alright, I'm gonna put some sticks on here just to warm up a bit. Water situation is okay, but I might make half a liter. And let's also make one of these. Uh, actually, let's make both of these teas. Uh, maybe you have a small chance to find some military clothing at one percent. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Could could happen. Warm up a bit more. There we are. Let's take a torch. Wind has died down, so let's get out of here. This should be an achievement for putting up with Will for a hundred thousand days. Yeah, I know, right? I used to always play Will, but now I, I'm more in the Astrid camp. But you can't switch, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. I would like to map this out better. I didn't really register all the cars and things. So let's see if we can get that going. Getting a feel for the area now. Is this like a crash? It looks like a crash. This wind is gonna blow out this torch for sure. Yeah, I was hoping to put it down here, but I guess I was too late. So what is this? It's a flipped car crash? It's a flipped lorry. Yeah, that's what it is. Doesn't have a name. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Ah, I turned cold. Alright, let's see if we can find some shelter to warm up a bit here. And what's down here? There we have the river and a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of stuff. And there's a cave here. Team Astrid for the win, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Will Will is complains a lot of a lot of stuff. Alright, I want to get this uh, sapling that's over here. Uh, well, here it is. Maple, it seems. If I have to, I will use a match. But I'd rather not. I should be fine. I can make a fire if I want to. Or I can go back to the car. Or I can... Um, go back to the trailer. 
This is a really interesting area for sure. Yeah, the plan is to map everything. I'm not going to map a perfect thing now. It's just uh, for me to get a feel for this area, which I haven't really been in properly before. I haven't explored it uh, as much as I would like. <laughs> yeah, she is tough, Astrid. All right, so where is this? Where does this go? This climbs up somewhere. Panting will in the house. We haven't actually gotten the black rock yet. I don't know whether I someone went to the bathroom and check you. <laughs> Cover their eyes, that's brilliant. Ah oh, yes, there is a cave. That's exactly what I was looking for. I had a feeling there would be a cave. Ah, oh, this leaves out of it. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I mean, we want to get warm anyway, so let's do it. Alright. Cave. This, I guess, connects to maybe the next part. I'm gonna not leave just yet. Because I want to map this too. Aha. Uh -huh. well, let me also have a quick look over here. Like, what is there over here? What is this path? This, it just leads down to the river, but is there anything in particular here? No. Mm, I didn't get to explore this area here, I guess. And the fishing out the actual river, I haven't really explored. Other than that, it's all right. This is actually a pretty cool area. You could kind of survive here. This is like the ravine, except that you have wolves in it. So I can cold. see where people say this is a big area. This is a huge. I think this is probably the biggest of the um, connector regions, except for ravine. Ravine is probably the biggest because it's very, very long. So that's a big, big uh, area. Yeah, yeah, celebrity voiceover DLCs. I I'll be up for it. <laughs> Put me in Rand in it. All right, let's uh, check this out. All right, I have been through this cave once before, but I don't remember the exact thing. All right, we got a carcass here. Uh, I think I might leave this carcass. Use this in a little experiment. To see if. Uh, let me put like. I don't know, hunting area or whatever. So I'm gonna spray this here to indicate there is a deer here. Just to see if that actually. If this is gonna despawn. Because that's been a bit buggy lately. Alright, nothing in that. Let's get this up. Which feats are you using? <laughs> Rand belongs in this game, yeah he does. Uh, I have these two feats. That's the sprinting one that takes less calories and book smarts. And if you're wondering, Zach, why do you use those two feats when in the videos you always say you should use Snow Walker and Cold Fusion? Well, there's a very good reason for that. <laughs> Uh, when I started this run, I didn't have those badges, so I used these. These were the only two badges I had when this run began, which is two and a half years ago now. <coughs> That's why I used them. Oh, you got the uh, ice cave things in this, like in Hushra Valley. I'll explore the ins and outs and what's left of Keepers Pass later. Oh, ice caves. <sighs> Panting well. What's this? Marine flat? Yes. Nice. I thought there would be. That's why I didn't bring a marine flare. Because I thought there would be one. I think now I'm gonna drop some of these torches because I don't really need them anymore. 
Round as Methuselah, yeah, he is. <laughs> he basically is Methuselah. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll go left. See what we find. Anything? Is there fishing out in Black Rock? I don't think so. Is there? No. So I have to be a bit conscious about oil. Glad you're gonna walk with the fam, but so your streaming needs to uh, send hearts. Ah, oh, thanks, uh, Niels. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> That's awesome, thank you. Um, he had severe problems with steam killing it. Really? Oh, that sucks. Marine Flare, my name is for Shelly. <laughs> when you start playing, do you discover the game right when it came out? Oh, so that's like, uh, oh no, Twitch is having issues. Oh, really? I hope my stream is working uh, all right. Let me know if there are issues. Now we're hey, cooking speaking of lantern fuse, now we're cooking again. Uh, so when did I start playing? I started playing in 2017. So I was just after um, it became version 1.0. Now it's this way. I'll go this way though. So after it became 1.0, which was the formal release, so the game was officially released um, in 2017, but it was successful from 2014. I played it since 2017. This run began in 2019. No, 2020, I think it was. 2020, this run began. began. Okay. Showing you the feel for this cave. Nothing to it, eh? Uh, and I heard about it through a YouTuber who you may have heard of called Joseph Anderson. Joseph Anderson does these video game reviews, most famous for things like reviews of Fallout 4 and stuff like that. And he did a review of No Man's Sky and basically said it was atrociously bad. But of course, okay, now we are here. Okay, so I went to the left there and now it's this way. Uh, that was before No Man's Sky was patched to Oblivion and became effectively a new game. So No Man's Sky now is good, but at the time it was horrible. Uh, if you've seen the internet historian version, you'll know what I mean. Um, but anyway, he had a follow up video where he had, he said, here are four games you could play instead of No Man's Sky. And then he went through four different games that he said, these are really good games, play these games instead of No Man's Sky. And one of those four games was The Long Dark, which at the time was in Early Access. Um, and this, that looks fun. So I checked it out. So that's how I first heard about it. Yeah. Uh, I'll check chat in a second, just looking around here. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. Look at that. Listen to the ambience in these caves. It's crazy how much ambient noise there is. Uh, Astrid does not breathe like Will. That's right. Uh, Astrid is way, way quieter than Will. Uh, good to know. Uh, hey, puss. I'm saying hello to my cat. Uh, hi, my first time. My girl is in the TLD group on Facebook and always talks you up. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Thank you, DeLorean Jenkins. <laughs> Thank you for that. Say hi to your girl. Uh, Thank you for that. Um, oh, the famous Witches 3 review. That's right, Malcolm. He's the Witches 3 review. That's him. He's very good. He does stream, but I don't really watch him because his stream is very different from his videos. Uh, yeah, he's, he's very, very good. All right, is this the way out? Oh, it looks like it is, yeah. It seems like we are keep this pass north. Okay, I know this, but we are gonna go back in and sleep. Yeah. There we go, yeah. Yeah, my cat is just trying to get comfortable next to me. All right, so we're gonna sleep here and warm up and everything, recover some health. So let's put this down. Oh, puss. Yeah, here you go. The cat is like, wanna go down my lap. There we are. Good puss. All right, so let's uh, put this down. Okay, my cat is now watching The Long Dark. 
and let's see if she can get comfy. And uh, let's see, why can't I play? There we are. Okay. Uh, I started a new stalker on just for fun, and boy, the pistol and ice cave is loud. The head bet. She breathes just as hard, they're definitely done the more pleasant way. That's right. Wait. I think on a past year you mentioned you're a professor or something. That's right. I yeah. know is fairly cool. Thank you for the follow, Kalex709. Yeah, I'm a professor. I'm a psychology professor. Uh, associate professor, to be more precise. And uh, I teach psychology. Uh, let's eat this cat hype. She went off. She's a bit of a restless cat. Well, maybe she didn't like the game. Alright. So we're going to sleep here now. Uh, I could drop these, I guess, just to cure them a bit more. And then sleep 10 hours. We should be fine. Then we can go to keep his past north. I would like to wait a little bit though. Because uh, it's going to be very cold if we go out now. I'm surprised I didn't find any cold in here. That's a little I bit need weird. To drop something. Ah, let's just go outside. We have full health basically, so let's just go outside. <clears throat> when I'm following a post in the TLD group on Facebook, I always love to see your content. You're a master of your crafts. <laughs> That's too kind. Uh, I use a lot of these uh, things now. That's all right. Now this area here, oh wow, that took a lot. I'm going to go back inside and warm up a bit. I've been a Rand fan since my girl said his name. Can't long. feel my hands. She got me in the long dog, basically not played anything, but since I saw Rand trying to do the no feet challenge. Yeah, Rand, uh, Rand, generally speaking, plays Interloper without feats. Uh, that's just how he plays the game. Uh, most of his streams have that title, like no feats. But uh, yeah, this is how he plays the game. Wait, why did that? No. Oh. So if I remember correctly from this region, there isn't really much really to do here. Hold on, let me do one thing. I don't need all these torches anymore. I'm gonna drop these. There we go. Future Sack can use them. Uh, because uh, he did, most of his streams have that title and he just doesn't play with feats. And the feats aren't really that important. If you look at this run, these these feats don't really do anything. Well, can't reach that for some reason. Oh, well. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a bit cold here. And I'm gonna pick up some of these sticks because I wanna be able to make a fire. Can't feel my feet. What? It's coming out. I'll turn this on. What's she doing? Okay. Uh, the White Sparrow. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, sorry, I'm missing. Yeah, it was hard. I think it took me two weeks to get past day four. I got grocery shop. We have to get home. My wife, why? Because Zach is going to Blackrock. Glad I made it in time. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Say sorry to your wife, though. Uh, not gonna lie, Ran has been my biggest inspiration to get a job, so I can uh, donate dote on him. He got it so rough in game, and this one help. Oh, that's so nice of him. It's nice, nice of him. So nice of you. Sorry. Yeah, that's really inspiring. Uh, always oh, nice to see you live. Thank you, Wise Baron. Thank you again for the subscription. Yeah, I gave the proceeds from the the Rand video to him as well. What is your initial plan when you spawn HRV and interlope? I never made it past the first day. Uh, an inter on HRV? In HRV you just need to loot everything. Because in HRV there's a ton of loot, so you gotta find the cache, you gotta go to Mysterious Single Fire and loot the ice caves, and then you can go out after. I have a video if you want, just go and... Now um, oh, this is cold. I'm not gonna map anymore here I guess then. I have a video on my channel, just search for Hashtra Valley and you will find it. And that video will show you with a map, like a mini map, how to navigate that region and then you can see how to do it. 
Uh, the joint Heimer, same husband. Like, are you watching this guy? <laughs> There's a lot of questions there. Sorry if I missed it. If I missed a question, just ask it again because I might miss it. The robot will avoid attacking you while on the street lights or do this pause. They will not attack you in street lights. So if you are in the street light, they will not attack you. It will be the same as if you're in a fire with regular wolves. Uh, I think wolves ignore lights in a row. Uh, no, the, no, the wolves uh, are all afraid of, of uh, lights. That's the only thing they're afraid of. I spent most of my Twitch on the rand. He's just great. Yeah, he's very nice rand. But yeah, you don't want to go out during the aurora if, if, unless you can avoid it. I'll check it out. Thank you for the heads up. Got a round one to show some support. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> See you later, Cadillac. <laughs> How to make this the weather get colder over time? How about Aurora Bears? Aurora Bears are the same, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are also afraid of the light. Storm Lantern is light? No, it has to be electric light. So things like the um, the uh, the lights for the roads, for example, or the flashlight. But that's it. Yeah, I'm a psych professor, that's right. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry about the coffee. Uh, does the weather get cold? Yes. So there's a specific way that works. Uh, on Interloper, the weather gets colder by 20 degrees over 50 days. So basically half a degree every day. And then it stops. For Stalker, I think it's 10 degrees over 100 days. And for Voyager, I think it's also 10 degrees but over 200 days. For Pilgrim, I think it doesn't get colder, I think. Or it's something like 5 degrees over like 500 days or something. Hello there. Oh, sapling. Let's check this out. And we have a bed in here. Well, it's too cold. It's way too cold. We might stay here though, because I might use a match here. Did I pick up the... I did, yeah, good. Uh, I might light a fire here, because it's quite a ways to go still until we are at the... Um... the exit. And like the next indoor location. It's not super far, but it's far enough. So. Let's use one of our precious matches here. And make this... <coughs> yeah, don't mess about with the Aurora, it's uh, not good. I read your name as well before. I'm gonna... Come on, come on. Yeah, just if you play Storm below, just use the... Uh, the... Um, flashlight. You should do the trick. And also I want to... Make some water. I'd say one liter of each. Uh, I'm watching YouTube video so suck. Thank you so much for the <laughs> no worries, Cindy. How are you doing, Cindy? Actually, uh, Cindy, how you how are you doing? You know, nice to see you. I thank you for the video. I'm releasing another one tomorrow, and then one about the uh, about the community will be out later this week. It's the one about the bases people made. No, I won't be in it though. I find psych professors to be the best teachers, so it all makes sense now. I'm going into neuroscience research. Oh, that's cool. Neuroscience, very exciting. I was going to go into neuroscience, but I decided against it in the end. An interloper, if you camp out in one region, does the weather get worse over time? And uh, no. The, the weather is pretty random, but there are some regions that are specific. So, for example, in Bleak Inlet, they are. It's much colder, and even though I never tested it, I do generally agree with people that in Pleasant Valley you get lizards a lot more than in any other region. I haven't tested it, but I kind of get that impression too. So. <coughs> uh, I'd rather have two. With this run, are you level five with everything? Uh, not everything, because uh, you don't have weapons. 
So I'm not level 5 with rifles or with revolvers. The rest is level 5. Even gunsmithing. Why not? Isn't Blackrock one of the coldest regions? Nah, I haven't actually tested how cold Blackrock is. But Leak Inlet is really, really cold. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, it's going to last a while, so we're going to sleep as well. Let's sleep for an hour at a time. <coughs> is Bleak worse than Timberwolf? Why don't they go there sometime? Bleak is much worse than Timberwolf. Yes. Timberwolf is just like a normal region. Normal temperatures, everything is fine. There's a great region. Bleak Inlet is Timberwolves everywhere and super cold. Wow, well, that is uh, lasting a while here. So that's right, we'll just wait it out. I'm not going to go any further in this blizzard. And there we go, it's done. Forest is Hermitage. Alright, I'll we'll map the rest of this another time. Now, let me have a look around here. I want to grab. Why did this not map? Oh, that's alright. Let's go up here and map again then. I remember going up here in story mode. First thing I did when the story started was to go up here. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Let's uh, warm up again. Not that that much food. Let's make uh, half a liter on each. Mending little time has taken a long time. I did in my standard book so I'm like trying to mend everything. It took 250 days. Yeah, mending takes the longest of all the skills, but it's because of the nature of the conditions of clothing. It takes a long time to to reach it and I'm not sure unless you repair if, if you repair clothing that's level 99 all the time it's going to it's going to happen <clears throat> are we still having problems with arrows yet and uh, no no problems any particular problems you're thinking of I'm carrying a bunch of stuff but once i establish a base in black rock i'll dump stuff there. heavy. there's a deer carcass which i don't need uh, actually, let me check how much. Yeah, let's take it. <coughs> let's go back and cook it because I don't have that much actually. So let's let's go back and cook this while we have a fire. Forty and eighteen. That's fine. Will be a good location to start an interloper for the first time. If it's your first time an interloper, well, I mean, you get random spawns, and and in a lot of my videos, I've said you can spawn anywhere an interloper, which isn't exactly true. There are some places you don't spawn. So if you if you do an interloper and but on custom, so that you can choose your spawn, I would do somewhere where you're familiar with the area, like start in Mystery Lake or something, or a mountain town or something like that. That would probably be the best. Now, right, if you're going to do a normal vanilla interloper, well, the best spawn in the game is arguably in Hush River Valley, but if you're not that familiar with the regions, the best spawn is probably either Desolation Point or um, Pleasant Valley. Desolation Point is good because it's small. You can find a lot of good stuff in a very small area. But people often struggle with matches to find the matches. Especially if it's night. Pleasant Valley is great because depending on where you spawn, you might be right next to the plane crash and get clothing right away. And you can, no matter where you spawn, you can head to the farm right away and you get matches in the farm. So Pleasant Valley is a pretty good place to start as well. If it's your first time. <coughs> Mm 
But yes, it is a random start. So, yeah. Have you noticed carcass bugs still being an issue? Um, I haven't noticed it yet, but I've heard of it, so I think it's possible. Yeah, what DeLorean Jenkins said. Yeah, I also waited to go to Blackrock with this character because of two things. One was that the it was this bug where people drowned. The other one was I wanted to get to day 1000 first. <coughs> um, I like Ash, Ash Canyon is a great start. I like Ash Canyon a lot. Yeah, but if you're if it's your first time, I don't think it's a good spawn. If it's your first time playing in local, I think Pleasant Valley is the best. A moose guaranteed to attack you if you get too close, or can you walk away when they notice you and they'll leave you alone? Uh, I think they can leave you alone. If if they see you and you sprint away right away, I think they do leave you alone. It has happened to me a couple of times, but I'm not sure because I usually kill them. But I think they do leave you alone, yes. Not being 100% sure. But they changed this, didn't they? This used to be redder, I think. <coughs> okay, we got cattails if anything. Custom setting and choose. Yeah, what you can do is, uh, Turpy, just go on, uh, do a custom setting, and then just choose interloper in the settings, and then don't change anything. And what happens then is you get a pretty normal interloper run, except you can choose a region. And just choose somewhere. Choose Mystery Lake or. Mountain Town or something like that. Now it's uh, late in the day, it's sunny, so now actually almost warm. Uh, might map some of this, but I don't have that many of these left, so... I need to come back and map this another time. Let's find a way out. Gosh, this, this is such a long... These two regions are so long. This region, though, I feel like there isn't that much to do. In this region, it's pretty much just going from A to B. There's just one long linear pathway that takes you somewhere. So this region is... This is a typical connector region where there isn't really anything going on. It's just kind of going from one place to another and in between the sticks and the rabbits and the stones and that's about it. All in the other region they keep far south, there's a whole bunch of stuff, you know, there's rabbits, there's wolves. You can survive in that region probably. <coughs> That'll be an interesting challenge. Just spawn an interloper and choose Pleasant Valley and then go to this area right away and just see if you can survive. <laughs> I think that'd be difficult though without matches, but all right, <coughs> all right. So there's a bit more to this region than I remember. That's fine. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's a good point. What the, um, Pam said, I forgot about that. Yeah, you don't earn any uh, feet progression if you choose a custom game. So just do be wary of that. That if you do your run that way, you will not get any feet progression at all. So just be aware of that. Alright, oh, wow. we're out of the bridge and everything. Okay, so there's a bit bit more of this region than I remember when I came through here. That's awesome. Yeah, so you can do that to Epic Slope. Uh, but I don't think you. Mm, I don't remember if you can spawn in Mystery Lake on regular interloper. I don't think you can. This is a region right before Black Rock. That's right. I don't know if you can go down there. No worry, you can't fall off this bridge unless you kind of try. To build this bridge. Let's do. Let's 
let's do our mapping here. Need more. Do we miss Mr. Teeldy? Where did all the female animals go? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, that's some people have pointed that out. I mean, there are the female deers with antlers too. I mean, in real life, I mean. It depends whether they've been sexually selected or not. Alright, so let's see if we can get out of this. So this region is really long, so keep as far south is really small, as in like it's it's not as long, but it is definitely more to it in terms of animals and what have you. Well this one is more just like a really long region. I'm getting cold, okay. I've felt so cold in my life. Alright. You know, is there anything over here? It's could be the way out for all I know. So I've only been here once, I don't remember. Indiana Jones Bridge, that's pretty much what that was. Yeah. I was smart enough to see the signs and leave. Yeah. Ah, this must be the way out. That's okay, we'll explore the rest of this region another time. <coughs> we can maybe warm up a little bit in this car. Mm. Might be too cold. We'll see. Let's see if we're warm enough in here. I don't think we will be. No. We can check it out then. Alright, this one also has uh, a battery. This is the way out, I presume. Yeah. So I have one left, but I'm just going to use this here. I'll do mapping for Black Rock later. Put some sticks on here. I wouldn't throwing a burning torch on, did you? <laughs> female deer and moose have an antlers. Uh, some female deer have antlers. It depends on the species. Right. So let's. Uh, Let's actually warm up a little bit here. But uh, usually the you know usually the the male antlers are much bigger. But it depends on the species. I would say generally speaking, you are correct. Uh, but uh, I don't I'm not a I do teach animal behavior, but I don't know all the animals, so I don't know the range of it. Let's see. Uh, I want to drink water. We do, we do have a lot of water, but I'm still going to make a little bit. <laughs> there we are. Nice. Take that. Take this. Take this. And I would like to warm up more, but I guess this is good enough. Let's see. Let's eat this. Lower the weight a little bit. Same with this. And let's grab. If I can drop any of these gears. Uh, I think I'm going to put these down. I might use these. Let's get out of here. Alright, so now I want to get to. Ah, thanks, Steam Guild. No, thank you. Welcome here. So here we are, we made it to Black Rock. It only took me two hours to get here, so this is the end of the stream. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> there we are. One second. Alright, I'm back. Um have you ever referenced TLD in your classes? A couple of times, yeah. I also teach gaming psychology, so a few times. So I'm in biology because of my first job, so I'm pretty sure antelopes are a completely different question. And maybe you're right. I do remember seeing it, but I could be wrong. Uh, so well, I'll look into it another time. It doesn't matter. You, you might be right about that. I'll take your, take your word for it. Let's see. 
Now here we are on Blackrock. It took way longer to get to than I thought, but that's okay. That's because I wanted to explore Keeper's Pass. And now because we're getting, it's getting late, I want to go somewhere indoors, start warming up, and I want to head to Bricklayer's Retreat. That's where I want to go. So I can share with something you teach about in the gaming psychology course. Do it, you can blame me. <laughs> Uh, well, I teach a lot of stuff, but in gaming psychology, I mostly talk about gaming culture, so things like the history of it, a uh, problem with gender, like women are underrepresented in esports. Uh, I talk about toxicity. Let's see, which way should we go? I think I want to go over here to this power station. Um, and I teach about things like aggression in video games, that whole thing about the link between aggression and uh, video gaming, which is not which is more or less unfounded. Uh, there's very little evidence for that. Well, stuff like that I teach, among other things. Are you doing Faithful the Cryptographer? No, I already have it. I didn't, I haven't mapped this, of course, but I got the Faithful Cryptographer when um, I think I got it before both Ash, yeah, before both Ash Canyon and Blackwood was released. So if you got it before, you have it still. All right, check in here. I have a friend working at Ubisoft. Some really sketchy stuff at the top of that company. Well, I wouldn't be surprised considering the stuff happening in Blizzard these days. Proc one keyboard in Fortnite. So I'm spray painting these in case I ever want to use the batteries. And I do want to check if you can get up to this power station going this way. That would be good. It looks like you can, yeah. No problem. You'll probably stay here for the night, I think. Probably. There's a substation, we're not far from the first guaranteed match spawn. Uh, which is by the jailer residences. First I'm catching live here, yeah, thank you, welcome in. Alright, the private for our collection and thing for our collection. Check this too. Take charcoal from this, two of those. And we could also, we're going to sleep anyway, so it doesn't matter if this goes out, but we can charcoal this. Oh, hear that? I was I was gonna shoot I was gonna shoot him in the face. <laughs> but it, w it wouldn't it wouldn't actually let me shoot him in the face. And uh, the reason I couldn't shoot him in I know why, but that was uh, weird. So basically what happened there I was gonna so the way the Tim Wolves work is that when they see you they trigger this alarm call. And while they're in that animation, they can't attack you. So what I was going to do is I was just going to shoot him in the face for the fun of it. But what happened there <laughs> was that I was too close to the Timberwolf. And it triggered the reticle for me to loot things. And because I can't loot the wolf, it wouldn't let me shoot the arrow. So, for example, here, it's quite easy to explain, really. So imagine this was the wolf, right, or, or something like that. Uh, and then what's happening is that because I have the bow out, it's going, I was too close to it, so it's reacting as if it's an object, and I'm trying to interact with the object, but there's nothing to interact with. So it's choosing the interaction over the shooting, if that made sense. So that's why that happened. At least you got something fun out of it. Any hey, gunsmithing? Could end up being useful. Which will not be useful, but okay. Well, that was funny. 
Now the car batteries are pointless, especially on Interlopa. There's no point having them, they weigh a bunch, you need to break them down for lead. But I just mark them in case I ever want to use them. I did do it before, on day 400 or something, I don't remember exactly. I went to Bleak Inlet and I leveled gunsmithing to level 5 with car batteries I found. So, so they don't serve any real use, but... Anyway, that was funny at least. <laughs> you should be able to skin the wolf alive in that place, that's true. I'll, uh, I'll show you again, if I run into the pack again, what I mean by that. How that works. Pick up the wolf. Yeah, no. Alright, we're gonna stay here in the substation. He took a little bite out of me. That's fine. Got some tomato soup. Hope I can still eat this. It's been sweet box. We got some more food. I will only eat this food if I have to, because I like to take it back to my base and just store things there. And we'll see. I might eat it if I if I have to. I'll eat it. Let the looting begin. Now I want to recover some health in here too. Anything else? Sewing kits. That oh, could be useful. I would. I would say no. Oh, okay. coffee! Look at that! Oh, that's gold. I ran out of coffee a while. I only have, I think, two or three cups left. So that's awesome. Okay. Is there anything else sitting around here? I don't think so. Let's have a little look though. Might have hidden something in the corners or whatever. Nah, seems like that's it. All right. <laughs> uh, pick up the wall, yeah. Hey, can you still to store dog for you? <laughs> thank you for the follow. It's a bit Uh Corian, thank you. Finally got the Thank you for the follow. Hi, no worries. That was fun. I did see you go live, but I didn't have a chance. When I tuned in, you had gone off. But I hope your stream goes well. Coffee is life. Yeah, you guys grab some food. Let me uh, shout out to... Uh, Corey. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna sleep here, but I'm gonna wait so I can until I can sleep for uh, ten hours. The Black Rose subs in Signal Hills ugly cousin. Yeah, you could say that. Now I go there, seem to expect uh, as they sleep, I end up being disappointed. Yeah, it does seem like that a little bit. More. Okay, now I think 10 hours should be fine. Let's see. Oh, where, did the, where did the bed go? Oh, bed. Alright, let's uh, eat this. We're running out of meat, but in worst case, I'll eat this. Oh, cattails. There's a whole bunch of cattails in. Alright. We can also dump this. Sleep for 10 hours. I would wait longer. Uh, oh, so Steam got if you paste the link, then uh, it gets blocked. So sounds like it's windy out. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes with the Timberwolves. Yeah. Where do they go? Oh, we're gonna head out of here. I want to, I really want to find the moose. That's what I want to find. Uh, there's three places that can spawn. And I'm gonna try and go for them. I might grab some cattails and stuff though. Yeah, you can get permission to post links, just say in advance. Where do the Timberwolves go? Oh, doesn't matter. <coughs> so I want to see that the moose can be three places. What's that? 
Uh, it can be by the prison, it can be by Cook's Farm, and it can be by Bricklayer's Retreat. Sounds like the wolves killed a bunny. Let's see if we can get somewhere. I only see my bricklayers. Where does she also like to hang out? Uh, the moose. Yeah, so bricklayers, Cook's Farm, and the prison. So there's three. Ash is getting cold because of the wind. Lost 1% heat because of that wolf. My fingers feel numb. I want to go to Jailer's residences here to get some matches. If I can get there, it's so windy. Might have to start uh, fire and warm up a bit because. Um, it's very cold, and if I run into Timberwolves, I really don't want to get too cold. So let's uh, let's do that. Have you been to Canada? No, I haven't. My wife has been, and she thought it was great, and I would like to go. Um, but I've never been. Come on. It would be nice to go, though. Be 11, and that's the case. We'll uh, put down sticks. I might eat these soups here. Yeah. I don't have a can opener, but I have a hatchet. So. <clears throat> you don't have to. Uh, I would have to check out the channel before I shout out, but if it's fine that you paste your link. That's fine. Maybe you can tell, tell us a bit about your channel. Let's warm this up. Mm -hmm. Take these. I'm gonna wait a little bit here. How am I doing with food? Well, let's make a little bit of water. Just a little bit. I might have to drop some gear. Drop that, and also drop this again. Uh, it's memes in game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, feel free to check out that channel, people. I uh, have to see it myself before I can say anything about it. But... Alright, this is good enough. Let's also drink this, or eat it rather. I'm not going to save every little piece of food I find. going to be too slow that way. So we're heading towards the jailer residences. Oh, it would be cool to go up there. I think you have to go out of bounds to get there though. So is this the jailer residence? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So let's go there. I haven't seen the wolves yet. Yeah, there it is. No wolves. Okay, so if you are playing on Interloper and you spawn here in Blackrock, which can happen, then this is one of the guaranteed match spawns here. One of two. So it spawns there in this truck over here. Uh, there can be Timberwolves here, but it doesn't seem like it today. But yeah, I, I think it's called Jailer's Residences. And over here, um, there is a truck. And inside this truck, there are matches. And these are guaranteed, so this is one of two places you'll always find matches. Are we paying to beat my weather? It seems like it, yeah. <laughs> Cold. Oh, right. Nice. Suitcase. Ruined. More cloth. A 
check the crates later. There it is. So there's the matches. That's always there. So these matches are always there. If you are uh, playing into the open, you spawn here, you always get these matches. Hey, occupants, how are you doing? Nice to see you. There we go. Let's have a. Let's eat this. I have to go hunting something. All right. Uh, I think I head to prison now to see if the moose is there. I'm basically looking for the moose spawn now. Oh, stone lantern. Hope no one uses this anymore. I'm very heavy now, but that's okay. I'm gonna dump all this at Bricklayer's retreat. To be a bit careful though, there's wolves abound. How are you doing, Acubins? Nice to see you. Let's give a, a Mikey. Can you? Oh, you did it already. Thank you. Yeah, Acubins is a Korean long dog streamer, oh, but she uh, she is uh, also involved in the English speaking community. I think she's the only one who is in between these two. Um, I'm sorry if I'm saying it r uh, wrong, Acubins. I think uh, your preferred pronoun is she, but just correct me if that's wrong. Happy Saturday, Shiggity. How are you doing? <laughs> are you running low on matches? No, I have about 127 matches left. With these ones, it's 139. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. So matches are good. Now here, there's usually regular wolves, not Tim Wolves. Let's we'll see how that goes. Nice to see you, occupants. Hope you're doing well. Just want to lay down for a bit. <clears throat> I bought two of these based in Vancouver Island near Vancouver. That's right, uh, it is. And the headquarters is in Vancouver. Uh, they have like an office space there. Okay, here I gotta be a bit careful. There can be timber wolves there, but usually it's regular wolves. This music's pretty good. You can find matches up here also. Not guaranteed though. There's also a car here you can find matches in, but it's also not guaranteed. I'm good, Occupants, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Just uh, getting a stream in. First time in Blackrock, Occupants, so I'm just doing that. Well, I mean, first time on this run, no, no, not ever. Yeah, and check out Shiggity as well, another great streamer. So in this truck here, you can also find matches, but it's a random spawn in this uh, glove compartment here. Not for us though. And you can also find matches up, I think it's up there, but it's 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 random. I found it, find it maybe one in five times. All right. <clears throat> now. If the moose isn't here, I might still go through the prison to see if there is a uh, bear spawn here. Because I also want to get the stim. One of the reasons I'm coming here is I want to get the stim. Oh, nice, uh, occupants. I hope that goes well. It doesn't seem like this is the moose spawn. I think there will be markings. What we might do, we might go to the prison here and see if they have a bear spawn and I can hang out there. But I'm not sure, I might do it later. I would like to find... Oh, it is here. This is the moose spawn. Is the moose out? Doesn't seem like the moose is out. No. No moose. If that's the case... You might as well check the prison, see if there's a bear. Oh, it did. Yeah, I don't see any moose. Well, at least now we know where it is. 
Okay, well in that case we're checking out the prison instead. Are there any loot spawns in the back of trucks that aren't pry bars or toolboxes? Uh, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Pry bars or toolboxes? Not what do you mean? Yeah, I know all the match spawns by heart. And all the stims too. But uh, and I will make a video about it. It's on it's on my list, and I have already double checked with other streamers to see if I missed anything. I just have to make the video, which I haven't gotten around to yet. All right, let's go through the prison instead because there might be a bear. We can kill the bear. Shouldn't be too hard. All right. <coughs> Let's see here. It's not sunny. Okay, so then that would require. Let's do this though. Nice. And I think. Ah, tea. Let's just wait this out a bit. Get warmer. And let's get some booting. I have. I think I'm going to kill these wolves. Mm, this is not a great location. Mm, we can do it better. And I might harvest this wolf. Let's do it two kilos at a time. Because I need the food. Come here, wolfies. Oh, rabbit died. <laughs> Let's drop this here. And go in here. Wait a bit. And we'll continue in. <laughs> In the truck, bed, back. Sometimes you'll find a private toolbox. I don't recall that. Finding a light. Uh, I don't think you can find anything else. No. Yeah, rope. Yes, shiggy is right. You can find rope. That's right. Can you long shot wolf? Yes, you can. We just gotta aim. <laughs> but it's harder. So excited to see you on site. Does the bow one shot wolves right away or on after you level up your archery? Uh, your bow will always one shot a wolf, even if it's level one. It doesn't matter the skill. So uh, if you have a bow and you hit the wolf in the head, they will always die. The only exception is if it's an Aurora wolf. If it's an Aurora wolf, they can survive a headshot. But other than that, you're good. So I'm going to see if there's a bear spawn. I'm going to loot, because I'm not going to stream for super long today. So I'm not going to loot the entire thing until later, but I do want to see if there is a bear. Is this a clear day now? Thank you so much for the bits, uh, as this roll. Right, is this is this clear now? It is. Okay, because that's clear, a little change of plans. We're going to cook this wolf meat. Here. <clears throat> Might wait until morning instead. Because then we have more food. <laughs> DH done, thank you also for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Can I light a fire in here? Or does that not count? It does not count. So then we'll do it the old fashioned way. Which is we'll put a fire here with the mag lens with a stick. We're using that. And then once the fire starts, we'll grab a torch and we'll light the inside fire with that. And then there we go. Let me immediately grab a torch. Turned out pretty well. I'll grab these also. It's starting to weigh me down. And we'll go in here. We can use a book. Why not? And use the torch. And there we go. Yeah, oh God. yeah that's right. Free fire. That's exactly what it is. There we go. And then now we can place this stuff. I think we'll 
this way, that way here. to the south. Yeah, so. Time to look for shelter. Let's put in uh, the reclaimed wood. We don't really need it. it takes forever. Just gonna cook this one by one. And we'll sleep in here after. Yes, praise the sun. Did you ever play the forest again or was it a one-off? So far it's a one-off. I might play it again. As is a try out different games. It depends a lot on time. There we are, and then we cook that. And let's make two liters of water as well. Uh, let's make one liter. Let's wait this out also, actually. We can grab the, the charcoal. Hey, look at that, four charcoal. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna sleep here. Let's also drop this to cure. Oh, I don't know if we need the scrap metal, this is dumped out. And then we'll eat some of this meat. Sounds like the forest will be out soon. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, I got delayed, that's a shame. There we are, full belly. I can eat this. For us, I guess I can eat this other food. <coughs> Sleep for 10 hours. I will play Green Hell again. Uh, I don't know when I'll play the forest again, but Green Hell I will play again, because that was fun. Actually, this is kind of like the only way out. So this is going to be my temporary base. I'm going to dump everything I don't need in here. So we're going to put uh, temp base as prison guard room. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump everything that I don't really need here. So let's put down this and that and this. Uh, yeah, we can we can deal with those later. All of this stuff. Uh, we don't need. Well, now we can carry. I guess this second one of these. Uh, these let's carry one of these. That one, uh, and now we can just harvest. <coughs> That's better. Now we're getting rid of some stuff. I reached a limit, I'm all, really I didn't even know there was a limit, I've never gotten that far before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's better now, I'm a bit lighter. I'm still quite heavy though. Still quite heavy. Uh, I guess it's because of this, yeah. We can... That's alright, I can carry that. Uh, yeah, we'll carry this other stuff, I think. Let's refuel this. And I guess that's it. Okay, let's go outside then. Let's actually just lower the weight a little bit. Let's do this. And I think we'll actually get rid of it. Yep. There we go. Yeah, some people also keep Excel spreadsheets and things. That's another way to do it. Alright. So I'm not going to loot the entire prison now. I just want to go to the courtyard to see if there's a bear. And also I want to get the vest and also the stim. <coughs> that's what I want to do. But he said the prison's work, so there's no regular workbench in it. Oh, ah, yeah, that's true. And this one also has a battery. Alright. A lot of batteries in there. Like when I did my gunsmithing, uh, when I did that on my interloper run. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna check up here actually. Because there's a wolf carcass thing here. Uh, I don't see it anywhere. Doesn't seem like it's spawned. Alright, I can close it. Loot this later. Oof. 
That was uh, that was close. <laughs> I concluded that it was way for too fast for me to be able to uh, to shoot that wolf, so I just ran away instead. We'll do all of this stuff later. Oh, kill the rabbit here. Yeah. Can't feel my hands. Oof. That was close. He came out of nowhere. Another rabbit. Oh, they're killing all the rabbits. Anyway, we don't care about that. We want to go get the bear. There you are. One wolf, two wolves. A lot of wolves there. <laughs> what? Thank you, Mark. W O seventeen. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. All right, I want to see if there's a bear here. Let's see. Not so far. Thank you for the subscription, Mark. All right, let's see if there's a bear here, because if there is, I need to kill this bear. But well, it's going to be a little bit awkward. Okay. Go away. I don't think there is a bear, because if there was, I don't think the wolf will be patrolling around. Nah. No bear. A lot of wolves, though. Alright, let's, uh... Check this out. Let's go get this vest. <laughs> what are the alt nums for referencing? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, the night companion is fantastic. Yeah, I don't really use it because I know most of the stuff on there, but I do have it installed. It's a very, very good app. Come get me, wolf. <laughs> Does not compute. <laughs> All right. Goddamn freezing. I think I'm actually going to loot most of this later. I don't really fancy going around looting everything right now. What I do want to do is get the vest and the stem. Yeah. So it's through here. And I think you can get a bedroll here as well. Which we don't have, but we don't need it. Oh, oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Alright, so what I want is down here. <coughs> Might loot some stuff on the way back, though. And a few crazy things happening in this encounter. <laughs> the game is trying to kill me, it seems. Oh, what else is new? Check this out actually, because we're near the end of it. All right, so here we are. Check this out too. Wood, take it. Is there anything here to loot? Doesn't seem like there is anything. No. 
Yeah, sometimes you'll do the ones you're dead, and sometimes your name is Ran Alpha. And you just get killed. <laughs> All right, here we are at the uh, prison itself. So let's uh, get the stim and the vest. Uh, we got marine flare. That's great. Let's see if the stim is the same location. It is. Nice. I think I can use this. Those of you who have paid very close attention to my videos will notice that on my day 500 video, when I almost died to a wolf around day 420, whatever it is, there is a note that comes up and it says last stim used. That was day 420. Since then I have found four stims because there were two stims that came out after that because after that happened, Ash Canyon came out and I found the stim there. And then now this area, and I found the stim there. But then there were two stims I had missed. One was in the plane crash in Milton, which I had forgotten about, so I just went to get it. And the other one was inside the crate in Broken Railroad that I just also hadn't looked at. So now I have four stims instead of zero. I don't think I've used the stim since that encounter, so I have not used the stim in about 600 days. Too heavy. <clears throat> okay. While we're here, we might as well take this stuff. Let's get the vest also. Yeah, don't worry, Corey. Uh, a lot of people I follow on the Long Dark they stream like American Time or something, and it's too late for me, so I can't uh, can't see them live. Oh, they're bought there. Nice. <coughs> uh, that's the vest. Anything else though? We got cloth here. Don't really see anything else. Meds, bandage, that's good. And this guy. And the vest. I could use this. Six kilo vest. Wow. Maybe I can put on if I want. Let's see how much protection I get if I put this on. There we are. Look at that. It's got 89% protection now. <laughs> so wolves are like an inconvenience. <laughs> it's so broken, this uh, item. And if I change this, if I put on moose uh, cloaks instead here, then you can get 100% protection. And with 100% protection, what happens is exactly what you think. Uh, you don't take damage. The, uh, the bear will start mauling you, and then nothing happens. You just don't die. Um, if you go in a wolf struggle and just take your hands off the keyboard, um, you don't take any damage. The fight just lasts until the timer runs out and the wolf gives up. So you don't take any damage. But your clothes will take damage instead. I don't know exactly how much, but it was tested by a streamer called Nogitron. And basically your 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 clothes absorb all the damage instead, so your, your clothes get completely wrecked. <coughs> this will come ah, in. 100% torch, how about that? So you can become immune to wolves, but uh, it will it will take its toll on your gear. I'm going to lose this on the way out because I don't want to come back in here. <coughs> yes, that's right. So you, you are invulnerable, but technically speaking, you're only invulnerable temporarily because with enough attacks, your the condition of your clothes will start dropping and you'll start losing invulnerability. So you'd have to repair them or replace them. But it is possible. I'm not going to keep this on. I might keep it on now just because I, I picked it up. But other than that, I'm not going to keep this around. Uh, I will probably take this back to my main base in Mystery Lake and I will leave it there. And then what I might do is whenever I come to, whenever I decide to go to Bleak Inlet, I might put it on, maybe. Something like that. We'll see.
That's at least what I'm thinking. Why don't you use combat pads in the inner slots? Haven't found them before. Ruined or saving one cloth? Uh, I don't use it because those are all ruined a long time ago. So I don't have one. But even if I did have one, I don't think it would be worth keeping it up. Uh, because the dare, uh, the dare pants are just warmer and easier to repair. Uh, I think the compounds are more effective, like from a total like ratio of weight and warmth and whatnot. But it's not really worth it. There, there's very few clothing items I keep. Bandage. Okay, we looted pretty much everything here now. Let's loot the warden's office too. <coughs> hey, welcome back. Alright, so let's check this out. I think the warden's office is here too, so let's check that out as well. Bunch of books, but we don't need that. How am I supposed to put an indoors wall somewhere in the prison? Yeah, gruffy. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put it past them, right? They'll probably patch one in one day. Or I'll put Don Donovan, or whatever his name was, Donovan will be, will be in there. Oh, I didn't even realize you could loot these. Look at that. Gruffy here. Yeah. They're the same one plus two, just less wind protection, less wind. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so they are slightly better uh, if you go by everything. But it's just so much easier to maintain the dear ones. And the common bands can get ruined if you're unlucky in a bear fight. But yeah, if you want to be perfectly optimal, yeah, you can use them, keep them. But I don't really see the point and the hassle of doing that. Coffee. Oh. The walls complaining out there. Shame we can't pick up this baseball bat. <laughs> uh, can the bear ruin the second layer? Uh, it can, but usually only if the first one gets ruined first. I believe. Almost did a uh, cakey pie over there. Yeah, we could sleep in it, but there's no point. Which we'll loot the rest of the kitchen, the kitchen, prison, another time. For now, we just wanted to get this out of the way. It's kind of like a one-way street. When I come back one day, every, every now and then, I like to re-loot everything. I just go back everywhere, everywhere in the world, and I check everything to see if there's anything I missed. And every time I do that, and I do that every. Uh, I do that every three or four hundred days or something like that. Every time I do it, I come across something that I missed the last time. Some small item somewhere. <coughs> I'd like them to return to Fluffy to the den. <laughs> yeah, that would be scary. Let's see if I can jump down here. Or am I forced to climb? Uh, let's see. I'm hoping I can just jump down. Yeah, I can. Nice. Nice. Let's bring this out. I don't trust these walls. Shame there's no bear, but... We've done the prison now, at least. More like the, the inside prison. Hey, Bad Batch 22, how are you doing? Nice to see you. this we'll take those and let's keep an eye out for these wolves in front of me is there a nickname for the ice cave wolf yes uh, his name is sketchy uh, I have my arrows yeah all of them I believe pretty sure I have all of them yeah because I had ten and one's broken and they all have names. There's three of them. Fluffy is the only official name that is recognized by Hintelin. 
they didn't name it, the community named Fluffy. Uh, but Hintlen adopted it because they referred to Fluffy in patch notes. The other ones are sketchy in the ice caves and uh, scruffy. Scruffy is in the Desolation Point Can't cave. Feel my feet. Those are the three that have names. And then I also call the bunny in the cave to Bleak Inlet is called Larry. Other than that, there aren't any. And of course, you have Boris the bear. Boris the arrow dodger. Um, the aggro range on you. Hmm. Where's the wind coming from? Can I maybe make a fire like here? Is that protected? Okay. Let's do it. Now we can house this wolf. <coughs> Go away, wolf. It will bleed out somewhere. Put, put the, uh, let's put these on. Uh, I put the coal on, I think. Let's harvest this. I can barely walk with this much gear. Yeah, no worries, Malcolm. You don't. You don't have to uh, go by what I say. Like, I will tell you how I play this game and I will give advice and tutorials, but you don't have to play it that way. And uh, you, don't have, you should play it however you think. If you think it's better to maintain the combat. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. <laughs> he died right there next to me. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Home delivery. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. <sighs> Don't burn out, please. I think the wind changed. Yeah, it's Okay, let's see him. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's um, still sunny. Mm. Messed up the acceleration there. All oh, this gear is slowing me down. Let's make another one. He wanted to go out <laughs> surrounded by friends and family, yeah, exactly. <coughs> Uber Eats. He died like a live growl growling at campfire, yeah. That was pretty funny. Alright, I'm not gonna use another cold for this. Let's use this heavy stuff here. This should still cook. Yep, I did. This is done. I'm gonna grab this, see if we can get the other wolves to come over. Feels like a lot of gear. There he is. Ah, come on. It's okay, they got the vest on. I knew that was going to happen, but I didn't think he was going to spawn that close. So I was trying out. But this is why I don't pass time uh, when you um, when you have meat on you. Let's see if this wolf also dies next to this.
No. Just hoping it would, but. <laughs> but yeah, you can see uh, he was two days from time. Because of the vest, I barely took any damage at all. 89% uh, damage reduction. <laughs> yeah, quite the haze. <laughs> Uh, bad, bad shit. The torch trick works on everything. It doesn't make them. It doesn't. The difficulty doesn't matter. I use them as a gun take to kill the bear. Made a fire. Bear stopped. Shot it in the face. Yeah, that's a trick you can use. What the? Okay. <laughs> this uh, this run is getting weird. Anyone want a live wolf? <laughs> that was just weird, like he just came out of nowhere and just attacked me. Can I even reach this? I was gonna get burned. I don't think I can reach my food. Wow, this is gonna burn then. <laughs> wow. He was like, I might die, but I'm going to die on top of your food, so you can't grab the the wolf meat. Thanks. Holy crap. <laughs> That's all of them. If he had done, uh, if he had gave me an infection, I would have to go get some of that. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna have to quarter this wolf then. Because otherwise I can't uh, cook here. I could just make a fire next to him though, but I'm gonna have to quarter it. Now it's gonna burn. I had to make a new fire anyway. <laughs> Oof. That was just bizarre. Yeah, great video material. Uh, we'll put some... How is this temperature-wise? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's because of this one, actually. Let's put this on. Wind will probably change again, knowing my luck. Oh, should have cooked me, Tali. Yeah, quite. <laughs> All right, let's grab. We'll take the this then. This gear starting to slow me down. I'm getting some smaller pieces in, and of course the wind changed so that uh, the quartering actually didn't make a difference. I was gonna cook all this stuff so that we have meat supplies. Yeah, I don't need a bear now, that's right. <laughs> this is oh, this is weird. Alright, so how heavy and stuff am I? Very heavy. So while that cooks, I'm gonna go and dump some of this stuff. Uh, let's actually dump the food here because food I can cook when I come back. Let's just go and drop some of this stuff in this guardhouse and then come back. Oof. That was a bit of an event to go into the Black Rock. All the close wolf encounters and everything. Buggy wolves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> yeah, that that could be a clip by itself for sure. Just the the journey into Black Rock could definitely make a little highlight real thing of that. <laughs> yeah, I put the vest on. I thought might as well. I mean, I picked it up. Uh, if that if I didn't have the vest, I would have survived that anyway. But. It made it a lot better. I don't think I'll wear it for the rest of 
exploration of this area though. But now we have the moose spawn, we have the... we found the vest as well. How much damage did the vest take? Nothing. Alright, so let's go here and let's put the vest down here. And take this off. It's starting to weigh me down. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> drop some other stuff here. I don't need these. All these. I don't need this. Probably I don't need this. Uh, I don't need these. These could be handy, I suppose. We'll take those. Uh, this, let's drop these for now. Let's reload them. And drop that. And that. And I guess we can just drop this here. I mean, why not? Yeah, I guess that's it, isn't it? I think so. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the best useful rather than protection? Uh, not much really, I guess. Oh, let me also drop some food here. So we can drop some food here. And also, before I forget, put a note. Uh, in interior prison looted, but not the rest. All right, let's go back and pick up, finish cooking. <laughs> wow, the wolves in this area. Uh, the bear legs would be nice stools. Yeah, the bear legs looks just funny. Prisoners rank buildings collapse, whether it's atrocious, but the Canadian flag, perfectly fine. Yeah. I did say, like, oh, we should be able to harvest the flag. But uh, no. <laughs> I don't think this counts as indoor, no, this is outdoors. It's just like another region. It's, it, it's kind of like a connector region, in a way. That's kind of like I have to think about, it, I guess. Alright, let me. Wow, that cooks. Oh. Just quickly see if there is a. Is there any, like, uh, lichen here? In this area. Because that would be good to have. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like in it, huh? Yeah, uh, made of vest material. Yeah. I don't see any, so I have to get that outside then. So I don't have any. Uh, don't have any bite protection now. Let me see. I have. I have a goal to kill five hundred wolves with a bow. I don't know if I wrote that actually. Uh, I think it is here. Oh, right, yeah, okay. But then there's another one that is... Okay, that's it. Kill final wolves with a bow. And I have killed... I killed 545 wolves, but somewhere in struggle, 69. So I need to kill 570 wolves for it to be with the bow. <laughs> I've been in 69 wolf struggles. Um, let's cook all of this stuff. Something's gotta go. Let's make one liter of this. Feels like night is coming. I'm not sure there I can go. carry much more. Raph will probably give you an affliction for tearing up the flag. Yeah, exactly. Can't sleep or you know. So you drink a whole bottle of maple syrup. Yeah, exactly. 
All right, there we are. We got all of it now. We're gonna go sleep, and then after we slept, I'm gonna go see if there is a moose. And after that, I'll probably call it. I think. Uh, I had a fun encounter here in Blackrock. That was fun. <coughs> Well, that was a fun event uh, to uh, go through Black Rock and kill the wolves. Generally unproblematic, except the ones that decided to attack me. Uh, the one that attacked me when I passed time, that was completely my fault. I saw that coming, but I was hoping the wolf would spawn further away when that happened. So, but I didn't, so I got attacked. Uh, but yeah, this was a funny, funny event. All right, here we are. So let's do this. Oh, Conky with the raid. How are you doing, Conky? Let's sleep in here. If I can get the bed rolled down, that's the only thing. Let me just do that, then I'll dress. Great. Right. I might not be able to drop it because of this. Let's just break this down. <coughs> hey, thank you for the raid, Conky. Feel free to check out Conky, he's a great streamer. Doing a lot of challenges and speedruns and things. Does this work? Might have to pick some stuff up uh, before I can place it. And all of this. There, there we go. So. There we go. I need to find let's something drop, to drink. Let's drop this stuff. Let's drop this. No. This we can drop there. All right. Thank you for the shout outs. Like, so, Conky, thank you for the raid. Hope your stream went well. Uh, when near the end of this stream, I'm just going to rest and uh, check the moose. And then I think that's it. Had some really fun encounters with wolves today. That was uh, a good laugh. So that's going to be a good highlight reel, uh, including a wolf that decided to die on my fire. No, he died. He speed run up to me, died in front of me while I was cooking a wolf, and while I'm cooking that wolf, another wolf charged around the corner and died on top of my fire. So that was fun. <coughs> Content, yeah. No go kegs then. Oh, okay, they ate. That's a good job though. That's really nice. I think it sounds like there's a blizzard out, so we're gonna wait. I need to make more water soon as well. Let's pass two hours. And then we'll sleep one hour. I shouldn't have picked this up actually. And I'll finally get you when you're alive. Reach day 43 in Interlover. Thanks a lot for your videos. So awesome. Right now, I'll make my own local custom so I can enjoy more balanced experience. Perfect. You should play the game how you like it. Let's, let's put the vest on before we check. No, that's not, that's not right. And let's just see if the moose is here. And if it is, we'll kill it. If not... Oh, okay. I'm um, so heavy, I, I can't actually run because of the vest. That's alright. I'm just going to see if the moose is here. I don't think I'm going to wear the vest for the rest of the exploration though, because it's too heavy. The Ash Canyon challenge. Ash Canyon is a really strong region, so it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Thanks, Dragon. All right, let's see here. Is there a moose here? So we got the markings, even though they've got a weird color right now. It doesn't look like it's here right now. No. Okay, let's take this off. Too much stuff to carry. All right, we're going to head back to the prison, and then I'm going to end the stream there. And we'll raid someone. 
and the rest of the black rock probably explore uh, offline. I can do uh, I can do the odd stream now and then on this run because it's fun to play on the main run every now and then. But since I don't stream very often, I only stream once, maybe twice a month. Um, I tend to try to stream specific things like a walkthrough or a speed run or you know uh, or something like that. But uh, we'll see. I'm quite busy the next two weeks, so I um, need to catch up on some YouTube content as well. So we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know on YouTube next time I stream. I don't think I'm going to stream again until probably June. Maybe late May. Uh, like really late end of May. But I have to see. It's because I got a lot of other stuff to do. But I might make some VODs though, if I have time. Let's drop this. And put it I need in. to drop something. Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's just get sorted a bit first. We'll eat this. I do need to get more water though. Ish. You have an idea for additional challenges? Uh, oh, sorry. I'm missing a good job to all joining. Yeah, good luck on the challenge, everyone. Uh, they want to find a legend. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you liked the video. Your videos have helped me a lot as well. Thank you. No worries. Happy to make the video. The videos are much easier for me to make than streaming because streaming requires a continuous session. More well, videos I can do 10 minutes there, I can do an hour there, and so on. Uh, additional challenges of TLD. Uh, maybe some sort of hunting challenge would be cool. Uh, or something like. A uh, cool will be something like Acid at Sleep but with only a roar uh, and no torch <laughs> that will be t that will be tough but i don't think they'll make that difficult ones um, but yeah thank you let me grab a couple of these uh, i think i'll grab a few more of them actually yeah that's, that's good enough and then i'll eat uh, do I have a small one? No, but I can eat one just to get it smaller. And then drink. And let's drop one stick. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to pass time for one hour. And then that saves the game. And then let's just take a screenshot in case I want to put it on the leaderboard. 1013 days. Okay, so that was great. Thank you so much for the stream. I'll find someone to raid now. But thank you all for the stream. It was really fun. It took longer than I thought to get to Blackrock, but it was fun to explore the Keeper's Pass. And it was really uh, funny to to be in Blackrock. So weird with all these wolves and everything. That was crazy. That was funny. <laughs> thank you everyone for, for being here. Uh, let's find someone to raid. 